and about to start the stream. We, da, 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 da. We, we are going to need someone to jump on line right now to, to send these out. Oh, what? What happened? Uh, what up? Connection what? issues right now. Okay. Give me a second. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Who oh, got yeah. five? Hang on, let me. Uh, uh. Can I can I can I get 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 can I get down? Can can I get down? <laughs> 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 oh, now the only problem with that is like trying to play that music. I have to turn the volume down, but I'll have to stop it. All right, what's the password again? Is it Cartos? <laughs> oh, for the for mine. Oh, oh I'm ultra. um, I think it's Cart Cap. It was Carto something. Carto. Oh, is this Carto one one one? That's what I tried. Car- oh, it's Carto. Okay. Carto one one one. I put yeah. a, I put. I wanted to put Carlos. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, okay. Well, did I put something? In? Oh, there we go. It's working. Yay! Oh wow. I'm gonna test something real quick. Uh, can I? Can I get get? I'm about to test the bandwidth again. Okay. What? What? Shots fired! Shots fired! When I lay down these rhymes, you know it's time to grind. So that, Five O or nose something. <laughs> Starting the stream. That'd be the only weird right. thing is uh, when we're playing the background music, whatever other soundboard I switch to or sound bite I switch to, it's gonna stop the music. So uh, I have okay. to start it back up again. Oh my! I'm logging into Twitch and everything. So if well, I mean, can, just um, just tweet this out or separate I mean, them. I guess. Put it on like, Facebook. If, if you're gonna play background um, music for a while, then just. You know, don't do any sounds. But if you're going to do sounds, just don't play in the background music. That way you don't have to do it constantly. All right. Yeah. yeah um, well, well I'll, I'll leave out the background music for now. Let's see okay. how it goes. All right. Oh, Is that chance? I mean, well, uh, oh, I was going to post. We can pick and choose. I mean, yeah. Stream. To we'll, like I said, we'll see. Oh, go But my phone's dead. So I was going to use that. Oh, go for it. Testing, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, I'll. I'll Ow, ow. Pow, pow, <laughs> power wheels. All right, so we're live right now. We don't have any oh. drop frames, I don't think, yet. Oh, snap. Oh, damn. Uh, oh, snap. Snap, snap. Mm, 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 oh, I lied. We got 700, 720 just that quickly. What? Okay, what? Drop frames? Yep, drop frames. Damn. Ooh, it's already loading. It's okay. We have, we're recording both. We're all right. You see me grinding. I'm, I'm griefing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, trying to knock these noobs off the server. Trying to knock noobs off the server. <laughs> Kid Suno said, what's up, hoes? Hold up. Hoes? He the only ho. Stuck on that train, fool. Oh, he called you a You're right. I'm a ho. I'm, I'm a oh ho. Oh? oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, man. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, so oh ho. Oh, what is it? That's that Pokemon's name, right? Oh ho. Oh, ho, oh, 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 oh. ho oh. Is it ho oh? Ho ho. Ho ho. Oh no, hoes. Oh, <laughs> Which one is it? Oh ho. Oh. Ho oh, it's magic. <coughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I like tuned out for like half a second. Right. <laughs> so through all the Pokemon noises. So, and I just, yeah, so are we magic. are we about good now? Yeah. Um. Let me just grab some headlines right quick. Okay. Uh, uh, streaming uh, the Twitch, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Gonna take you for a ride. Oh. You got look. <laughs> what? What's that? Oh oh. Oh oh. Oh it's oh it's ho oh. Oh oh. that. <laughs> There's some anger coming from him. Seriously, <laughs> I said that. Dwayne is insane. How could you? <laughs> oh no! A uh, ho! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Oh my! Possible trends. All right. Ooh, I'm gonna use that one. I'm gonna use that one. Okay. Possible trends, and then we got uh. I don't know how to operate computers without shortcuts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that enter button doesn't work on the keyboard. Oh, okay. Only, I was the, one, only the one all the way to okay. the right works. I was thinking, I'm like, how do I make this go without pressing enter? What is it working? 
Um, there we go. <laughs> right there. Right here? Yep, that's the one. Okay. Come on now. We're the only one that says Atomic Ultra Play. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know, man. I got you, bro. I got you. And then Patton's doing the worst, though. Oh, they bur- they about to roast me. Ooh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Four slash atomic ultra. Exactly. Just All right. <clears throat> ready? Right as possible. We got all two viewers. Let me read it. Oh, what's up, two viewers? We're about to start the show. This is somewhat of a pre-show, so bear with us. Yeah. <laughs> Get your eyes and ears ready, because you're about to lose them. Yeah. Throwing out the uh. The uh, Facebook. Don't worry, guys. Right you still, still have your nuts back. It's okay. Yeah. We can still procreate it. mentally. 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 <laughs> uh, um, oh, what's the uh, what, Gungeon, right? What's the game they're playing? Enter the Gungeon. Enter the Gungeon. Okay. Little Barrel Roll. I, I'm just going to refer to you, Adrian, because you know, you know about that game. You know, <laughs> <everybody's not laughs> game. <laughs> that evil laugh. Yeah. <laughs> why does it look like a face? What, why does it look, like, does it look like a face? The level they're playing on right now it looks like a face. When they go back up, look at oh, that. Yeah, it does look like a face, actually. I would not be surprised if it was if it started blinking. <laughs> it was like blink, 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 blink. Oh. All right, time to start tagging some faces in here. Mm-hmm. Oh, what's that, oh. Velvet? Velvet, oh. Velvet Rain. Oh. Oh. <laughs> velvet Rain. Oh. Feels velvet like rain. my body's covered in Cheetos. Velvet Rain. I don't want to imagine that. Who ate the last Dorito? No. <laughs> 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 no. Well, well, well. It's like sour cream and onion. Oh, no. In my gut. Mm-hmm. With a side of pistachio nuts. Mm. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hate on my game because my game's so strong. <laughs> I got a battery pack for my Xbox 360 controller and it lasts twice as long. Mm. <laughs> twice. Microsoft will never be the same because Bill Gates and Carmen San Diego are gone. Damn. <laughs> 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 My question is, what does Carmen San Diego have to do with any of this? Everything. <laughs> she's his mistress. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, why you think she's so elusive? <laughs> he's got he's got the greatest alibi. Every time it's his wife always suspects, but every time she asks him, he's like, where is she? I know you're with another woman. <laughs> he just goes, I don't know. <laughs> I just thought she had warrants. I mean, she has plenty of warrants, but they don't know who to give them to. <laughs> They're just sitting there. You're like, Carmen San Diego? Question mark. <laughs> he's like all over the world. Yep. Yeah, nah. Once you get warranties all over the world, they sort of cancel each other out. That, at least that, that's what they told me. That's how it works. So. <laughs> that's how it works. <laughs> oh, no. The shit. hunter has died. Okay. Uh, who got snipe? Me. Okay. Let's do this. Let's right. do Whenever you're ready, let me know. And we can start the show. And we need a flow. And we can let... Oh, God! Oh, God! I wasn't ready! I wasn't ready! I wasn't... Oh, my God! Why'd you do that? Oh, God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, no! Stop! Oh, my God! Why, why do you... Oh! Oh, I didn't know what to do. I was frozen. I was like, wait, is that if there's the intro music? Sir, what did I he have, do? Why did I will he do it? teach you to say that you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what what would happen if you would have started and I was just right on cue? Then that would have been awesome. Uh, you were like that and that and I was like, oh I'm coming up on him. <laughs> it's like, dang, you can't slip one over on him, man. So once he's had his coffee, he's good. Oh, uh, oh, you gonna calm me down? Yep. From three? Ooh. Oh, five? Okay. So, no. 
Coming up on the Atomic Ultra Show, sushi burritos, Sony making a more powerful PS3, and you can maybe have digital game trade-ins. All that and more, coming up. What's up, Internet? Welcome to the Atomic Ultra Show! Oh, we're the only show in South Carolina right now on the radio. We're the only show that are going to give you the gaming news. We're going to give you some strange stuff to make you feel weird. But at the end of the day, you're going to feel like it was all worth it. Oh, yeah. Right, you know, right, you right. can't come to any of the show and say that. <laughs> Somebody's going to ask you, what were you doing? It's like, I was watching the Atomic Ultra Show. It was strange at first. It was strange. <laughs> it wasn't ready. I wasn't ready, but then I learned about myself, and I know that <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm meant to do in this all world right. now. All right, all right. And then you're going to go from door-to-door selling Old Spice. That's what I'm talking about, guys. <laughs> you're going to learn that and more on this episode. we got a lot of crazy stuff happening, guys. Uh, we're going to talk about the new Voltron animation they're working on. Yep, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You know, I didn't have a, a cable growing up. Mm-hmm. You know? Oh, man. That's... I didn't have a lot of... Uh, television or whatnot. So I caught Voltron really late, actually. I still haven't watched it, actually. Yeah. I thought Voltron was Power Rangers for the longest time. <laughs> so, you know... That's how you know you're out of the loop. <laughs> that, that is how you know you're out of the loop. So, you know, um, admitting that sin and a couple of other sins, uh, we're going to be getting to that. We're going to be getting to uh, Microsoft possibly talking about digital trade-ins. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're gonna be see if you got. We want to see if you guys are ready to actually give up some of your digital games for about ten percent sight of the price. <laughs> sight <Sight-stop. laughs> store, whatever. It's more than GameStop. <laughs> <laughs> you have a point there. You have a point. I can keep my ATV off of fury instead of giving up like what eighty three cents. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. hey, now you're gonna get a whole dollar. That's nah, true. I'm damn still leaving it. <laughs> one, one orange rupee. <laughs> oh, one no, orange one. one orange one Quest orange room. Quest yeah. for the host <laughs> yeah <laughs> Voltron yeah. was the shit how do you miss that um I missed a lot of things and Voltron was probably a very small part of that when you look at the overall <laughs> things that I missed large scheme of things. you know like missing out on Voltron is very small when you compare to missing out on like oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> what a guy let's get him I'm, back I'm sorry I'm sure. but um uh, we need some milk. <laughs> I do need some milk. I do need some milk, but I'm, I'm going to have to start up with some coffee right now. You know? I know, right? All right. Mm. But anyway, guys, rolling with me in this episode, um, I have to my left the the impervious, the ultra strong, yeah. ultra wild, this guy. ultra tested, but still mother approved. Battle Bear! What's up? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, internet? What's going on, world? How's it going, guys? How's it doing? <laughs> battle Bear's my co-host. He's going to be right alongside me in this battle mm-hmm. as we wage war against the ignorant masses out there that don't know about games. But <laughs> we're going to help them out. Whoa. Whoa. Shame on you people. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care about games. You, you're about to care. No, I promise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Suna, so, how's your girlfriend never seen... You know what? Don't dump her. Hold up. Send her to Crunchyroll. Send her to Crunchyroll. <laughs> yeah, I'm here to say it. Let's not get too extreme <laughs> now. <laughs> guys, guys, send her to Crunchyroll. <laughs> guys, I got some sympathy here. I've never seen Voltron, but I'm willing to correct the problem. That's right. Yeah, and, you know, and if his girlfriend's willing to correct the problem, then you can go get that ring back out of the pond. But if she says no, she, <laughs> she don't want to be saved. Don't save don't her. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. saved. The nerd life <laughs> ain't for her. The nerd life ain't for her. Get a punch to the face. <laughs> <laughs> that pawn shop will pay you pretty well. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Well. We ever, and it's, it's even more money since they started trafficking in humans. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> turn her in along with the ring. <laughs> and <laughs> that extra money. <laughs> uh, but sitting next to the uh, impervious battle bear, we have Chance. What's up? What's up? Right? Who never really takes a chance because he's always 100%, uh, 70% of the really? time. Yeah. Always, always, always. <laughs> wow. Hey, 100%, I'm going to come in. You know, I got some controversial opinions. You know, I'm, I'm controversial opinion carrier, yeah. but, you know, we're going we gonna to get through this together. You know, don't yeah. hate me. I, I kind of hate you, but it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> oh, oh, it's chill. It's chill. Hey, hey, Chance, yeah. So, so what? What would you say is the percentage of the amount of people that like you and the amount of people that hate you? Okay. Um. Uh-oh. You know. 
now, as far as I know, right, eighty uh, percent people like me. You okay, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Now, granted, I'm pretty <laughs> sure that eighty percent's like you know. Is that is that before or after the decimal? Oh man, that's, that's probably. Yeah, yeah. I, think it, I think it got me, man. Uh, uh, my original plan wasn't to talk about the decimal at all, but you, you just you know, right to the light. You know, so I'm just gonna sit here. You know, my name's Chance. What's up? Hello, internet. Hello, yes. YouTube. Hello, whoever is gonna see this. Mm-hmm. Um, everybody. And we go, we go, <laughs> even we your grandma. To this show. That's right, grandma. I'm talking about you. <laughs> you come on, <laughs> Chance. That was very nice. We were sliding into the That's show, right. you know. Right. Whether you love him or hate him, Smooth. guys, he's still gonna exist. There's still a chance. Yep, that he's gonna be around. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, the puns. <laughs> now let's let's move over to the other side of my body. Mm. All right, the other side of my body. Woo! <laughs> Gotta get with it. Uh. <laughs> See, this, this is the crew I carry on the left side of my body, what? and they will wreck you. Okay, oh, no matter what your ego is, they'll put you down. <laughs> that is what Lord of Rip. <laughs> I'm with the flaps and everything in between. <laughs> if you, you can't see him right now, but if, if you you can't see him, if you look right below me, you see you see the little. You can't see it because I'm special. But if you see the little level, their little level above their heads, they're maxed out. Okay, yeah. level cap, yeah. level caps intact. And level the next patch, <laughs> level caps on <laughs> okay. Now to my right, I have the inscrutable, the unaskable. The nah, internal. nah, nah, don't do that. Nah, ain't none of that. You in this. <laughs> guys, guys, my cameraman doesn't want to be known. He doesn't He doesn't want you to know he's here, but he's standing right there. He's standing right there going like this. <laughs> no, 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 is that, is that good? Is that good? Okay. Even, if, even if you did disapprove of that just now, it already went out through the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're, they're already so looking up. Yeah. But um, no, I got cameraman over there, Zach. You know, he's going to be on the camera today. Like, you know, letting you guys see the interesting parts of the room, whatever's hey. going on. All right. Um, then right beside him, we got the live editor. Woo. We got we got the master oh, of silence. Yeah. Yeah. The master of skill. Oh, damn. The proprietor of That's goodwill right. and Tell destruction. Them. All right. He will lay you out. Mm. He will yeah. put you down. There you go. And then he will bring you back to life. Oh, and turn your life around. Holy flame. Holy fire. Hey, JR. Go. Ninja. <laughs> Rabbit. What's going on, man? <laughs> he just, he just nodded his head like, mm. what's up? And you did say he was silent. He so. was silent, silent but deadly. Yeah. <laughs> You'll see him actually transitioning between the different scenes as we switch into different segments throughout the show. Yep. Um, right, right. And also very, very knowledgeable in video games. Everybody I have here, we're we're all really passionate about geek culture, game culture. So we have some pretty good insights, even if you don't agree with them. We can debate and we can talk about it. We can all gather different perspectives together. That's, that's right. what it's all right. about, man. She's you know true. what I mean? But that's not it, guys. Nope. That's that's the that's the left side of my body, uh, right? And I just told you about the right side of my body. Yeah, you oh, ready? Body. Now oh. I'm gonna tell you about the invisible side of my body. Oh, the invisible right? side. And the visible side of my body is in the game room. <laughs> 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 You already saw the game room. They're all the way to to my um. Oh God, to, to your right, right over there, there below, right there. That's the game room. Now the way this show works is while we're doing the radio show, we have people in the game room actually playing a, a, a game that came out recently. Could be indie, could be AAA. It's an interesting game that you might not know about. Right. So they're going to be playing it throughout the show, and at some point later on, we're going to check in with them. They're going to let us know what they think about the game, and they're going to give it a score, you know? Right. But don't take it too seriously, because they only play, what, about an hour or two hours yeah. worth of the game. So it's yeah. just a way for you to learn about the game and get some insight, oh, you know yeah. what I mean? But that's the game room. In the game room, uh, I have Dwayne. What's going on, Dwayne? What's up? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> um, there's there's also... Uh, oh, go... I, it's so small. The pitch is so small. It'd be Jarrell, man. It'd be, oh, it'd be Jarrell. It'd be Silent D in that room. Oh. What's going on, Silent D? Not much, not much. Just trying to play this game right here, and I keep getting my ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> so the game, they're, the game they're playing today. Oh, what, what's going on, Silent D? Just playing this game right here is real cool. 
Um, except for the part where I keep getting killed, but I do be holding my own though. That'll happen every every time you'll get stronger, my friend. I promise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, uh, Adrian. So, what, what is the game they're playing? Tell us a little bit, a uh, little bit about that game. You forgot somebody. Yeah, you kind of did. Did I? Did I forget somebody? Game. How you can't forget our dog, our homie, the smooth voice of all. Cody. 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 Cody! No, Cody, they're gonna see Cody later, oh, man. Yeah. I, was, I, was, I was trying to keep him secret. Yeah. He's he's like that loop we keep underground, and then when they try to mess with us, we're like, get him, Cody! <laughs> <laughs> Where the Cody was going? Get him with the smooth. <laughs> but since, since you already let the secret out, we also got Cody coming in later on. Cody's gonna tell us about some rumors, man. We got Daquan. You, can, you guys can't see him, but he's staring at you right now. He's staring hard. More like he's staring at the he's whole like, He better not forgive me. He better not. He better not forgive me. He's, he's got that star. And he's also the proud owner of some really cool cat ed- uh, headphones. Mm. All right. They light yeah, up. Uh, is it red? Red or blue? Red. red. I'm not going to lie. They're red. Cool. The colors of war. <laughs> <laughs> so if you see him in a mall walking around, keep your distance. You All right. Up. You might not make it out of there. Run into the nearest hot topic if you see him. <laughs> Cover yourself with the blessings. <laughs> he, will follow, he will not follow you there. I assure you. <laughs> they were like, yeah, secret. That's right. Cody, the one that's on screen. <laughs> oh, chat, you guys are supposed to be looking down here. What are you doing? <laughs> Stop being so nosy, chat. <laughs> nah, chat, do what you want. <laughs> but anyway, guys, um, let's get on with this show. Right. Uh, you know, you got to meet the crew, you know, and I'm pretty sure you guys are interested to know what's going on in the gaming culture, what's going on in geek culture. And we have here a nice uh, curated cultivated plate of geek and game gaming deliciousness. Oh, I had to force that out, man. Yeah, I, was, I noticed. That was like you were scrolling there. Um, so, uh, the, the first news segment that we have to talk about, you know, uh, is Netflix putting money wow. towards actually making a new Voltron cartoon. Hell oh, yes! Man. So, you know, since I was deprived as a kid, I, oh, I, I never did really finish telling you guys about that. So, when I was growing up, we didn't have cable or anything. We had one TV, and we had a makeshift antenna. And whatever that antenna was able to catch, that's what that's you watch. So, we didn't have cable. We, you know, smartly renamed it Abel. <laughs> 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 it was always random. It kept us going. You know, it, it kept through, us the dark yeah. through the dark time. Through the dark time. You turned it on, you didn't know what you were going to get. <laughs> you could get Mr. Rogers on you know, ETV, or you could get boring ass news. <laughs> <laughs> it was all it was fun times with me and my family. You could send somebody outside, tell them to turn the antenna, you and then tell them, stop, stop, we got something. You were we got something. What is it? Uh, CBS News 19 at 6. Oh, shit. It was great when you got Fox 24, though. Oh, it was cool. <laughs> If we got yeah. Fox, it was a great day because you had Fox Kids in the yeah. afternoon. Oh, yeah, yeah. All those oh, great yeah. cartoons, oh, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyway, guys, I don't know much about Voltron. Enlighten me. All right. All right. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. I yeah. get the torch? Oh, yeah. You get the torch, <laughs> man. Get the torch. torch. All right. So what Netflix is doing is, is uh-huh. uh, going along with their partnership with DreamWorks. Mm-hmm. So DreamWorks and Netflix is like, hey, we need to come up with some new shows. Okay. So yeah. they brought back Voltron, but they're also bringing back some other shows with uh, – What's the producer's name? Uh, Del Toro or something like that. Robert Del Toro. What do you work yes. with? What do you work with? That one. Um, he's bringing back some. I, I I'm blanking on the name of the show. It's some adventure. Uh, Tom show. No, not adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Wait, Don't I got it. it. Clifford the Big Red Dog. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Why the hell? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not hating. <laughs> Clifford needs some need, love, son. You're going to need a sequel. He <laughs> needs some love. But yes, DreamWorks and Netflix are bringing back Voltron, and it's going to be called Voltron The Legendary Defenders. Okay. That show is supposed to air on Netflix on June 10th. All right. I mean, is it what's going to be different about it? Are they just rehashing the same story? It's going to be. I believe they're different. rehashing the same story. And as you can see on the screen, that's what the cast is going to be. And it's pretty similar oh, to what you damn. saw. You know, from the previous ones, you know, for those who actually saw it, yeah. don't ask me the names because I know damn well I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> All I know is there's going to be a black tiger, a blue tiger, a green one, and a yellow one. Hmm. It's, giving, it's giving me the I'm 90s. I'm missing one. Hold on. Oh, What's there it? you go. I we... got him. I got him. <laughs> what? what? What's up, Kevin, man? Red. Red? Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot the color red. Oh, well, you can't blame me. My TV was messed up, too. All right? <laughs> <laughs> red came in this orange, so I had, to, I had to focus on what I saw. Oh, my God. <laughs> I will say, I, I wasn't around. I, I wasn't my cartoon-watching heydays when right. the original Voltron was around. Mm-hmm. I did watch the, really, the kind of shitty one from, uh, you know, Disney, right? 
The re, uh, the redo. The redo. Disney, 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 Disney redo. Yeah. Ultron as well. Jet X. Jet, oh, Jet. See, I didn't watch Jet X. Jet X was the bane of my. It was pretty bad. I'm not. I'm not trying to say that you should go back and watch it. I didn't watch it. I am trying to say that Jet X. I mean, that's that's my first taste. Wait, Jet X did one that wasn't Zoid. They did. Nah, it was um, It was a yeah. It was Voltron, and they. I think they had six times. I think that it was it was weird. It was nobody remembers it. You know why? That was my first, you know, touch of uh, Voltron. I'm, I'm looking forward to see what all the fuss is about. You know? yeah, 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 give yeah. it a real chance from something that's working closer to the original. Yeah, right. I mean, I, you know what, though? I hope it actually lives up to whatever, you know, people that used to watch Voltron back in the day thought of like they you know have good feelings about it right good memories yeah. and i hope this new thing isn't worse and it's my first time so i'm like i'm like oh i've seen voltron and that shit sucks you know and everybody's like no it was amazing back in the day and i was like oh well too bad i already saw the netflix fuck up so <laughs> there's no going back you had your chance you, you had it. your chance you know what i mean so you know on i'm gonna go watch gargoyles again <laughs> like Yo. i need to believe in cartoons again. oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Well, anyway, let's go to the next news item. Uh, that's that's pretty cool, though. Netflix is doing a lot to bring oh, yeah, back man. a lot of Netflix shows that didn't really get a good chance. These because days. Netflix is finally the, they are one of the groups now that was like, okay, there's money here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Why are we not funding this? <laughs> <Why not? laughs> you know, they're not afraid to take chances. And they're when they're that's, not. That's what the future needs to be. Oh, yeah. Everyone's yeah. becoming so careful with everything. We don't get mm-hmm. anything new. Yeah, exactly. Experimental. Yeah. Yep. Here is here is crime drama number six hundred and forty six. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, I'm still holding out for that Magic School Bus re- remake. That is gonna be awesome. No. Magic School Bus anime? School anybody? Bus? No. Magic School Bus anime? No. No. I want that. No. Wait, wait, wait. You said anime? Anime. Yeah. Magic uh, School Bus anime. I would just take another animation. Yeah. <laughs> animation. I don't know, no, no anime. No. I, I don't know, man. How about how about live action Magic School Bus? That I can. Get I can do that. I, I can get that. behind. Yeah. But I don't yeah. need to see no no anime version of Miss Frizzle. I don't know, uh, man. You sure you don't want that? <laughs> you can imagine how she's gonna look because it's gonna be so sexually you, appealing. I know. Totally sexualized. Even when I was a little kid. Sexualized. Even this is like me committing. This is me admitting another one of my sins. Even when I was a little, a little kid, like you know, Miss Frizzle mm-hmm. gave me feelings. You thought she was oh. hot. Shout out to you, Miss Frizzle. You thought Miss Frizzle was hot. She, she, she made me feel know, things. Man. What? Okay, this is gonna decide a lot of things of how I view you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What about Liz? No, uh, no. no. <laughs> Liz, what? He's not even a human. <laughs> I have no feelings for Liz. <laughs> Screw Liz. Nah, dude. Liz can go down Pluto. He gives you that Damn. look. He gives you that look. He's like Liz. <laughs> he can join too. <laughs> oh, 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 and the school bus. Oh, oh my god. Man. Yeah. Oh man, we really gotta move to the next <laughs> news item <though. laughs> uh, What does this world come to? Oh man. Oh, bestiality on a kid's educational show. You guys are that monsters. Was, uh, <laughs> hey, it went from bestiality to mechanic quick, so <laughs> yeah. was that mechophilia? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Autophilia, maybe. <laughs> um, let's see what else. Metal Gear Solid actor David Hayter throwing some mad shade and at Hidea yeah. Kojima. What is going on? I thought those two used to work together. They did, but uh, as his name says, Mr. Hater uh, is uh, a little salty because he was not the voice actor for Big Boss in Metal Gear Solid Five. Oh, uh, yeah, that's why he's salty. In his uh, article with, uh, well, in his interview with Game Informer, yeah. he said this: "I've got no particular love for Mr. Kojima. I don't feel any." <laughs> Is that the, that's the way he said it. I don't know. That's, that just, that's just me doing that because I know he mad salty, right? <laughs> I've got no particular love for Mr. Kojima. No, yeah, but uh, <laughs> he felt that um, he was the best role for Snake, you know, since he was doing it for so long. From yeah. the very first Metal Gear Solid, you know, all over to um, I think it's the second one, yeah. and yeah. I think uh, not. I think it's um, Operation Ops or something like that. Yeah. The one that was for the Vita. Yeah. But um, after a while, you know, he wasn't being cast as Snake anymore. Yeah. So, like, uh, from I did a little bit of digging, and apparently he was not the voice actor for Snake in uh, Snake Eater, which yeah. was a shocker to me. And he was an old Snake in Metal Gear Solid 4, which was also a shocker to me. I didn't know that. Now, yeah. the voice actors for those two games, I didn't know because I was too busy laughing at how mad he was because he didn't get those roles. <laughs> yeah. He literally said like in his uh, uh, interview with Game Informer that he had to re-audition 
for those parts, and he still didn't get it, even though he was the uh, original well, voice actor. Like, you know, he, I can see both sides of That's this now. Saying, like, yeah. I, you right, know, right. like uh, he was he was feeling kind of entitled because yeah. he did the part a couple of times. Right. right. But at the right. same time, he didn't get it in writing. He didn't get a contract, so <laughs> only haters assume. Yep. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Hit that <laughs> last one, <laughs> one of the worst things you could do in life, period, is to feel entitled to anything. Oh, yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? You always got to feel like you pressed, like, oh, I am Snake. You yeah. need to embody that. Yeah. You know? And yeah. if... You know, it's Kojima's game, dog. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> he well, he did. but he didn't even make that decision. Yeah, it, it yeah. wasn't uh, Hideo Kojima's okay. decision. It's actually, okay. Konami's decision. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. So okay. when you go, so, I did a little bit really more dig digging. Into it. Yeah, okay. I did a little bit I more digging, right. and uh, apparently, one of the representatives from Konami came up to him from uh, I think they were at some like uh, party or whatever mm-hmm. for the launch of uh, I think it was Snake Eater okay. or whatnot, and it seems like, hey, we're not gonna. Um, you know, go this route for you being big boss. We're going to try something different. And, you know, hey, uh, thanks for coming. But uh, no, you didn't get the part. Bye. Yeah. So he just blaming Kojima. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but yeah. the person who ended up getting the voice actor part for Big Boss was actually uh, Chris Zimmerman. If you don't know who that is, he's the actor from the hit series 24. Maybe your mm-hmm. parents watched it. Maybe you kind of snooped in, looked like, oh, what yeah. you watching, Dad? Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Was he a spy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, was oh, he only got 24 hours? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I mean, but at the same time, good rule of thumb. Never, no, unless you have it in contract, never assume that you'll be doing something yeah. like that. <laughs> that does, that's how you do 24 hours. <laughs> you heard that clock ticking. <laughs> But uh, yeah, unless you have it in writing, just never assume that. That's how you get your feelings hurt. Now, yeah. he has a little right to be mad, but not yeah. kind of a lot. You know what Define I mean? Define a little. He could be. I would, I would say, like, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the chance. That oh, he, I'll give you the percentages. Oh, oh, oh. They gave him a chance. They let him audition. <laughs> let him audition for it. That was a chance. And now, like, people change. Yeah. And especially yeah. one of those things, like, well, I don't know if we want to have the same guy doing the same thing all the time. Yeah. What about if there is someone that's better? Yeah, that's true. Man, that's you gotta true. explore your options, which is why you audition. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Now it would have been a little shady if they didn't tell him to audition, and they just kind of one day he came in to, to the set. Yeah. And it was like, oh, uh, he's Snake. You, you don't need to be here. No, <laughs> wait, which, are you here? Which, which, <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Dude, that would have been bad, dude. Yeah. I would pay. I would pay to be on set that day oh, when they God. tell the voice actor oh, for Mario God. that. And <laughs> I could imagine him be like. Oh, what the- what the fuck are you do you mean? <laughs> what the fuck are you mean? Like I've been a Mario for so long. I've been a Mario for so twenty years. Do <laughs> <laughs> you mean uh, I'm a fired? <laughs> I am a Mario. I'm a fire. No, I'm a fire flower. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> no, 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 Luigi! No, Luigi, get in here! <laughs> Luigi, they're really not fucked up now. <laughs> Luigi, they said that we are fired. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean, Mario? <laughs> I believe they said it. You are fired. <laughs> oh, that's savage. That is so old. But that's Luigi. Though. Luigi yeah. would be savage. Like, like, uh. <laughs> I'm the producer be like, oh uh, no, we didn't say you guys. We said you, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Why just to me? I built this company. <laughs> oh, I built this from the ground up. From the training guys to the toys. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> Bowser, you coming with me, what, Mario? What? Bowser, <laughs> like, oh, I'm still in this. I don't even know what. <laughs> Bowser's like, you see how many kids I got to pay for, right? <laughs> you better bounce. <laughs> I got no problems. They keep giving me girls every game. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, hey, Peach ain't complaining. <laughs> And then oh, Toad's God. like, yo, why you guys so loud? Screaming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, next section. Next segment. Uh, Battleborn requires constant internet, internet connection. connection. Yeah. So with the thing with this is uh, most people were going to be like, oh, no, I don't want that. Bump that. But for what they're saying is it's going to be almost like, a, well, you know, it's somewhat like a mobile. <laughs> Completely tied in. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be completely tied in. So when you're like, say you're doing a multiplayer match. With uh, you know, well the the mobile side of the yeah. game, where you're actually fighting against people, mm-hmm. they have it to where you know, since it's always online, anything that you do, where if it's in story mode or multiplayer, yeah. it's always constantly updating. Which, so that yeah. way, let's okay. say if um you do a match mm-hmm. and someone's like, damn, I really like this guy. He's not like he's badass tank or DPS is clean. You know, yeah. we won that match like before 15 minutes even happened. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Somebody's going to want to research, you know, or try to get in contact with you. Well, that's why they have a constant online thing on there so they can check your player stats, you know, see what you're doing and see what other that's games cool. you're like going into and whatnot. Okay. So 
I don't really mind it, but yeah. others may be like, I don't really like the constant online thing. But mm-hmm. you know, if you really think about it, some other games has already done that. There's so many other games. Yeah, that, yeah. But you yeah. just don't notice it. Yeah, because it's, division. You be, <laughs> it's at this point now. It's kind of weird to sensitize to it. Yeah. So yeah. at this point, you don't jump on Destiny and be like, oh. I'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> well, you just log on because, and you know, you have to wait. It doesn't automatically bring you into space. Yeah. You have to wait. Yep. And same thing with the division. Yeah. You don't just yeah. jump in. Yeah. yeah. You gotta log in. Yeah. I, I I understand some people's you know point of view with the you know who's still really resilient the always online. Mm-hmm. Um. You know, definitely that's a decreasing number now, obviously. Right. But it's just. The reasoning for doing it just seems kind of weird to me. Like, right. I, I get where they're coming from. I, I like the idea of like a multiplayer game being like refresh, refresh, refresh. You always understand what people are up to, mm-hmm. but I feel like you could also do that, like with also like also enabling like an offline mode. Like, true. can you play? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Story mode without being online? Nah, right? Right. Yeah. I know it's like. It, that small amount of people who was like, yeah, I bought Battle Wars, play single player, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, eh, like one side's getting sort of alienated. Well, yeah. well like, there's a thing though. I, I could see sort of the perspective coming from the developer's point of view. If they enable an offline mode or people to play, you know, not connect to the internet, whatnot, that lessens the amount of people they can have in their matchmaking pool. Right, and when a game like that first comes out, that depends so heavily on multiplayer. You want a lot of people that the matchmaking algorithm can choose from, so right. people don't feel like they're waiting forever to get yeah, into a game. True. That's true. That's true. So I could see them, you know, doing that for that reason. I'm also curious because I, I just don't know, but how many mobas that they have that are not online? Um, yeah, uh, I don't think any. MOBAs that's what I'm saying. Are like, like not online. I feel like because they took that extra step, they're already doing something mobas don't usually do. That's mm. single player. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like the second you have a single player, like like Destiny and Division, like in my mind, they can get away with things like that because the whole game's like built around interconnectivity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if you have a single player and it's like, oh, you know, my power is out or something. I want to go ahead and finish that. You know, de- that single player can't do that now. Wah, wah, you know what I'm saying? It sucks. Wah, wah. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not. <laughs> you know, right? Uh, you know, protest. It's just like if you have a single player, can I just play the single player whenever I want? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I could definitely see that because they can do like um like the bot games or yeah, whatnot, yeah. or like add bots on there. I can understand not everybody enjoys having bots on there because some bots are just freaking stupid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you see them running yeah. into walls and stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or, you know, that's another thing to work into the game where you have to make sure the AI for that is doing its job. That's true. Yeah. But, it's a lot so, you know, I mean, I mean, I know another thing that is, I know there's a decent number of people who won't even purchase a game if they have to be online only. And that's right. mainly because, one, there's still parts of the United States where you don't really have connections that can support that type of thing. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. that's true. And another thing is that, they just don't want to play a game competitively. They want yeah. to do just it's true. I just remember, right. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. And if the game if they some of them even turn to the back, because I've seen people just like flip it to the back, mm-hmm. look at it and they say that online portion of it, they're like, oh put it back. No, put it back. I don't yeah. want to do it. Yeah. Especially if the, the environment's toxic. Right. Oh yeah. Oh, like yeah. people don't tolerate newbies trying to learn the game. Oh yeah. They're just so like, oh you're not playing this right right get it on the game. Like this <laughs> I just I just got this game. Go yeah. sell it. Guys, bottom line though is that when it's when it's used well, what was that? Um, <laughs> uh, my phone vibrating on the table like Get crazy. That table. It, it's just Voltron. He needs me. <laughs> <laughs> can wait. I don't know who you are. I got this number. <laughs> but you need me. <laughs> Oh God, no, Jamie, go away! <laughs> it's, it's me, Magenta Tiger. Oh God, oh, you guys God. forgot about me. You guys forgot about me. You gotta say it like that. You guys forgot about me, Magenta Tiger. Oh my God, I'm oh, the hat. No. When you guys form the body, I'm the hat. The hat. I'm, the hat. I I'm a fedora. <laughs> Yo, somebody has to Photoshop that. Yeah, a fedora. <laughs> fedora on Voltron. Voltron. But, but guys, I think the bottom line is when uh, always online connectivity is used right, right. I don't mind it. Yeah. Right. But there's some games where it doesn't belong in there. Sims. Yeah. You know, I always go to SimCity and I always go to Need for Speed last year. Mm. You know, that did not need always online connectivity for a racing game. Yeah. What? Why? You can have multiplayer like activities in the game, but like People like to raise single players sometimes, do some trials yeah. by themselves, or like do a couch co-op. Yeah, 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 you know. So 
you know, yeah, like it's, it's just use it right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't just put it in the game for the sake of putting it in there. Yeah. <laughs> Diablo 3. <laughs> Shots fired. I know it's hella shade in right now. But uh, in the next in the next news segment, there the uh, as you know, guys, uh, the VR year has started. Yep. Right, right. The 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 uh, HTC Vive is out. The Oculus Rift is out. The PlayStation Experience has a release date soon to be announced, but you know it's coming later this year. Yeah. Um. So with the Oculus just coming out, uh, I think it was early this week, or early last week. Uh, I think it was early last. Actually, it might be a week before last. Okay. Okay. Came out. Yeah. But uh, you know, Oculus had a really weird and awesome success story. Basically, they started from a Kickstarter campaign. Yeah. They were like, "Hey, that. we we know that virtual reality got burnt out and used up in the '80s. People were trying to say, oh, 'Oh, we're about to.'" let you in this virtual world and it's going to be awesome. You can get away from this life and, and just live in a, a life made up completely for you. But the, the truth was you were sitting in a stupid ass room with a red <laughs> and a blue tint across your <laughs> eyes. And it was uh, awful. Uh, uh, boy, we're looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the, the thing is though, with this new era of virtual reality, it actually is groundbreaking. It oh, actually man. does. Um, have a certain presence that allows you to get inside the world. So um, Oculus decided to take another whack at it. They're like, hey, the technology is ready. We're going to give virtual reality another try. And they put up a Kickstarter campaign and the audience was there. They were like, yeah, yeah, we think it's here too with, you know, uh, positional tracking and accelerometers and stuff like that. We think that this could actually take off right now too. So they were successful in their Kickstarter campaign um, and they got all the money they needed. They started making these headsets, and all of a sudden, you know, Mark Zuckerberg over there with all his billions, he's like, hey, this looks cool. I can see this being something in the future I need to invest in now. So he straight up bought, well, Facebook bought Oculus, and you know, when you attach, your, attach yourself to somebody like yeah. Facebook, you get access to a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And that publicity, man. Yes. Everywhere. Yes. Um, question, have any of y'all tried the uh, Oculus yet? I am not rich at the moment. Nope. No. <laughs> 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 oh, Try it. Try it. Like, for somebody who is rich. I know. I, I haven't had the opportunity. Um, I, at first, man, I, I thought, you know, VR, just like motion control, ah, it's a gimmick. The, oh, that that's no gimmick, man. It's that's not. No gimmick, man. Well, okay. it, it really is, like, now, granted, I can't see it for every type of game, obviously. But what kind of game do you not see it with? Working well. Shooters. Don't say a platformer. Shooters. <laughs> shooters. <laughs> shooters. I, I just, I can't, I, I just can't see it for shooters. I think it can work well for shooters, but what I think. If you're going to play VR with a first-person shooter, I think they're going to have to perfect the peripherals yeah. to go with yeah, it. Yeah. Like a bodysuit or the like, gun. Like, what was that, that thing we... Uh, I know we meant to talk about it last week. What was that? Uh, that... That little machine where you—it's like a treadmill that you run across. Oh yeah, the, oh the Omni, the Omni. Omni. Yeah, yeah. Like that with it, I think would be amazing. Yeah, also oh, yeah. you get a good little workout with this. I think. It'd be oh yeah, cool. yeah. So there'd be a lot of people can't just. Oh, I'm just yeah. gonna sprint. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sprint. Oh, it's like oh. nah, marathon don't work in this one. <laughs> <laughs> also, speaking of the Omni, also another Kickstarter project. Oh yeah. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? But basically, if you guys know what it is, the Omni was a um a, a big circular thing you yeah. could run in stationary and kind of walk around in VR worlds without running out of room. You know what I mean? Um, but that, that's the thing. So the creator of the Oculus, when they finally launched, they got a bunch of money from Facebook and they were going to come out sooner. But since they got all the money from Facebook, they decided to make a better product. They yeah. spent an extra year or two on it. And it finally came out uh, early last week. And the first Oculus that got delivered from the first Kickstarter back or whatnot, he went all the way out to where was it? Uh, it's uh, Canada. Canada to yep. deliver it oh, uh, in person. Yep. He treaded the treacherous snow in sandals. <laughs> this man is my <laughs> hero. Sandals. He said, oh. I'd be damned if some delivery service delivers his first very <laughs> <laughs> Nope, I'm taking this baby and I'm hand delivering it. Did, did he at least get a ride from one of the mountains? Um, yeah, he used Uber. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> that would be a trick. Use <laughs> Uber and all uh, the yak came out. Yeah, yes. got on a yak too. It's like, come on, buddy. Quiet. The yak talks. Yeah. So the, the videotaped it and everything. You know, he slowly he walked up to the dude's front door and knocked on the dude's answer. And he's like, he's like, hey, you the one that ordered the Oculus Rift? He's like, yeah. He's like, I bring you Voltron. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, guys. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So. Question about the VR porn. Uh, we did that on the first episode. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, Why is that back? <laughs> VR porn is already a thing. And mm -hmm. I think, what is it, Pornhub? Yep. Yeah, Pornhub yeah. is one of the people who are, like, they were immediately behind it because oh, they were yeah. smart. Yeah. yeah. 
and everybody knows sex sells. Oh, oh yeah, definitely. definitely. So it, I wouldn't be surprised if VR porn doesn't release before actual video games in the VR. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. usually, you know, it, it, the, the, the awesome thing about it is with any new technology, the porn industry is usually one of the first people to adopt it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they actually usher in new technology when 3D tried to do its thing. Porn, porn yeah, was there. Right there. <laughs> the forefront. So wasn't it 3D uh, porn that with 3D printing when everybody was like, oh, that's going to be useless basically yeah yeah, yeah. And then they start uh printing vaginas or something like that oh, well, and, and dildos and dildos. You know what I mean? dildos they're like they're like oh man we can use this too we got this yeah. products yeah. are selling through the roof <laughs> <laughs> we got exclusive <laughs> ones look at that dragon dildo you know you want it <laughs> it's rainbow color i know the is a poor energy man they are some weird kind of geniuses man yeah, yeah. They, they can transfer almost anything into sex yeah, they can <laughs> make it sell, yeah. you know. And sell it, dude. Um, let's see. So next little bit of news: Oculus confirms devs free to sell Rift games on Steam and other platforms. Mm-hmm. What's so, happening with this? Pretty much what Oculus is saying: like, hey, we know people are going to be making games for the Oculus Rift. So instead of you know trying to bombard us because we're dealing with sales, so back mm-hmm. the hell up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> you can go ahead and sell those games on Steam, and they have a little partnership going on. So get ready to see some pretty cool and very crappy. I'm not trying to throw shade at them little indie developers who are making yeah. it, but yeah. come on now. Some of y'all need to some, get some, some, some tweaking on them games. I yeah. mean, seriously. Some, some try, they get try a few demi or something. Money. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you know what? I, I guess everybody's trying to fake because it is a new, m- not medium, but new dimension right. of, of art in a sense. It's a new tool. So everybody's trying to figure it out, you know? And yeah. there's going to be some shit, you know, <laughs> around this, around this track, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure the first person invented a pencil, he was like, how do you even, like... <laughs> and then, you know, like, years later, this guy's like, oh, my God, this is amazing. This is cool. And the other guy's still drawing, like, circles. And he was like, fuck. <laughs> but I don't have a question about that, though. Was I, um, I thought about it when I first read about the article, mm-hmm. but I didn't actually look into it. But are they going to have some type of setup for people to just publish games similar to what uh, Microsoft was doing back in the day on... For uh, any developers, or is it going to be something like a little less strenuous? But, than that? Well, that's the thing. They both have stores. So the Valve, HTC Vive, their virtual headset, they have their own store, and Oculus has their own store. Okay. okay. So I, I'm guessing that's the so way I mean, they are they going to have those walls? Because, you know, what before you, mean, you have like, to submit it, and then you have to wait for a certain amount of time. Uh, actually, like, no. Okay. No, because no, so I was on Steam, um, I think, like, last night or week before last, I was on just checking to see what games are on there. And they already have it to where even if you don't have <laughs> Oculus, where you can see what virtual reality games that they're doing for like you know whatever right. vr headset so, is on so that. that means that's great because that means you don't have to wait for that other I person know, right? to look at everything <laughs> yeah. you think your game is ready and it's not you find out with sales yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I gotta admit though vr has got me scared a little bit at least the initial beginning part because mm-hmm. any new technologies you know you always have different people a bunch of different companies bringing their their visions for that technology uh, trying to get that to market, trying to be the fir- trying to be the one to take off, right? right. So, yeah. um, you know, when DVDs were kind of, or at least people thought they were on their way out, you know, Sony and Microsoft had that big fight. Like Sony's like, Blu-ray is going to be the next thing. You know, they can hold you know four times as much, forty gigabytes. You know, versus what, what a DVD can hold. Microsoft, like, nah, you wrong, Sony. Oh, Our HD DVD is about to stump your Blu-ray in the ground. They found out. <laughs> <laughs> and they find out hard, you know, like HD DVDs, nobody knows what it is these days in Blu-rays oh, one. You know what I mean? So with, with uh, virtual reality, you have Valve making their virtual reality headset, you have Oculus doing it, you have Sony doing it, and then you have all these other little companies making their virtual reality headsets. You know, um, the, the makers of the Chronicles of Butcher, uh, Riddick Chronicles of Butcher Bay, they even got their own little headset they're putting out. So basically, uh, why I'm afraid, guys, is that Imagine you're a game developer, right? Uh-huh. And you develop your game for one of these. What if um, they keep you from putting it on the other virtual reality headsets? Or what if the virtual the, the technology inside the virtual reality headsets is just different enough that it won't allow for the game to function the same way? Yeah. So you end up losing out as a gamer. Well, yeah. I feel like that you, might actually be a good thing. Because yeah? one, I think this competition, which is what they need, because yeah. mm-hmm. it's going to is going to bring down the price. It's going to make people work harder towards perfecting what they have. Yeah. yeah. Instead of there being one, and they're going to be like, oh, you have to buy my shit. Yeah. yeah. I don't really give a fuck whether you hate everything about it. Yeah. You have to buy my shit. Yeah. But, and so that's going to be a good thing. Yeah. However, anything that fails in the process, I feel like if that was a good game and people were like, oh, this game would have been great if it was on this. 
Right. That's going to give those people a chance to come back. That's true. Oh, yeah. But that's, 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 still at the end of the day, like there's going to be a loser and somebody would have invested all that money in that virtual reality headset and yeah. they bought the loser. I we, do have we a, already did that. We had the console wars all these years. Yeah. I do have a different <laughs> opinion. <laughs> I do Wait, have a different for it. opinion. <laughs> <Bruh>. <laughs> I do have a bit of a different opinion. It's just... yeah. It, it when it comes to like the perfect like I understand the difference of having exclusive when it comes to the vibe and the Oculus because in and of themselves they're different things you know mm-hmm. um just focusing on the Oculus and its different variations because I don't know all of it there's a yeah. lot yeah um it even if you have the Oculus the Oculus itself isn't the thing that's playing the game you know yeah. it's the peripheral for the game so it almost seems like to have like Oculus type exclusives. It's the same thing as having exclusives games for a computer to monitor. You know what I'm saying? Like the computer itself is what's playing the game or the PlayStation or Xbox, whatever the case. Yeah. It just the the Oculus is just like uh, the new monitor. You yeah, know, right. it, yeah. I, I feel like even though I, you know, competition, you know, that's the that's the best thing here. I just yeah. I feel like exclusives would just It'd be kind of stupid. It'd be kind of dumb. It'd just be kind of dumb. Like I hope they don't go down that road. If they do, I understand. Like you, you gotta, you gotta, you know, find your place somehow. Yeah. But, geez, man, that's just. Well, it's 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 it's, it's one of (laughs) it's it's one of the easiest ways I think to fight for your place in the market. Mm -hmm. Like, say you somebody does like a game development studio or some software developer does create a killer app. Like everybody wants. Like, let's say. Somebody made the next Facebook for virtual reality, yeah. right? Where you can actually go in there and talk with people, we'll see them standing right before you and stuff like that. The That's new be PlayStation Home. The new PlayStation the new Home is virtual reality. VR. Oh, yeah. Let's, do that. let's say somebody makes that and somebody locks it up. That yeah, what's up? legitifies yeah. your technology and your product. You're right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's, it sucks. Yeah. yeah. But nowadays, we kind of see what people can do with that because... A lot of companies, as we you know, we spoke about before, yeah. they have this thing where they want they have this vision. They mm-hmm. know what they want to create. They can't because the Papa company says no. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. we know this works. We're going to continue to do this. Mm-hmm. What they do, they make that off branch. That small company that takes whatever little bit they can with them, mm-hmm. and they're like, we are going to fucking fuck those guys. We're about to make our own thing. <laughs> right. And when they do, that's when you get like, I know I'm this throwback, but God hand. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Clover Studios, amazing. Yeah, and yeah. that's what they did. It took that little bit they had, and they—I mean—the studio closed down because they're, you know, they're small. Yeah. But actually, they didn't really close down; they just got reabsorbed. Yeah, because like you guys did good. Bring your ass back. Yeah, they, <laughs> like like they made their point. Yeah. Yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like we were right, <laughs> and we did. We went off. We we did our thing. And they're like, oh, we're sorry. Get back in. It's like, yeah. it's like, okay. okay. It's like, okay, honey, would, would you like some cookies? Like, <laughs> what, what are you going to sleep on the street? <laughs> it's like, it's okay. All right. Yeah, so, um, about God Hand too. <laughs> like, I, 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 I think there's so many uh, similar stories like that probably in the indie games industry. Well, oh, yeah. before, before the indie games industry had its resurgence, you know what I mean? Like, I bet there were so many people that they were working for these AAA developers and, you know, they were just making sequel after sequel. Out the sequel. Yeah, and they're like, we have all these other great ideas, but you guys are too afraid to try to make them and to take a chance on them. And they just, they took that chance. And they're like, we're leaving our secure, cushy job. Yeah. And we're going to go get a couple of our friends and we're going to cram in one apartment and we're going to like prove this out. Right. And then all of a sudden people were like, wow, holy that, shit, that's awesome. Like, that's I'm going to play that. That's yeah. great. And then all of a sudden, other other people see that success, and they're like, "We're gonna do the same thing." Like, fuck this job, I'm gonna take a chance. <laughs> for this shit. Like, you know, if, if we fail, I just come back to this job. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> they can't function without me. <laughs> yeah, and now you have a huge uh, indie game industry, you know, and you have um, well, you used to have you know triple A tier of games, you used to have B tier games, right. and yeah. used to have like the small games. Now indie games are are pretty much incorporating the small part and the B tier games. You yeah. know what I mean? So. Yeah, it's cool. Like stuff got, works out. Oh, we got yeah. a few shout outs. Oh yeah, shout out. Shout out to <laughs> Chance. What's up, Seaman? That's what you were called, Seaman. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I smell god. dirt. <laughs> All right. It's a story I'm gonna have to tell y'all later. <laughs> I wanna know this. And All, right. Thing. All right. Wait, uh, the, the Dreamcast uh, game? Like, oh god, no. <laughs> no, no, no. It's... Another thing someone recommended mm-hmm. uh, before we go into the story. Mm-hmm. Backpage three D. 
Oh, 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 you guys are on back pages, right? No, I'm no, not concerned. no, back pages, okay. a website you go to to find hookups. It, much. It, it's basically like, uh, imagine you know the way Craigslist used to be. Oh, uh, see, it's like say no more. I already know what you're talking about. Right. <laughs> Call girl, <laughs> yeah, I'm still on that. And, and uh, what, uh, what was it a few years ago? There was a huge thing where it was like, well, back page is outwardly because they have an escort right. tab, mm-hmm. and it's like. Oh shit! <laughs> like, like they didn't really have this there, and they didn't remove it. So they had nope. this whole lawsuit that they tried to put in play to get them taken down. Right. And guess what? It's still there. Mm-hmm. So wow. obviously, right. you can't stop. I don't. First of all, I understand they have an issue with it being like, okay, they're making it available, yeah. right? And that that is a thing, but it doesn't. It's not going to stop from happening. It's not going to stop people from going there. Yeah. And yeah. they're just going to make another website. Yeah. yeah. All in all, it was no real way to stop it, and they were just because someone's. Child got caught selling themselves. Doing some name, supposed to be doing <laughs> right. Yeah. Doing their ass back and, and so, of course, at that point, you know, mama rage. Yeah. And so yeah. that page was the reason. How and dare you go whore yourself out when I'm not paying attention to you and doing something else? How dare you go raise yourself? How dare you? Who told you you could make money? I told you specifically to sit there and watch that TV while I go live my life. And you do this? Despicable. I disown you, whore. And that was a bit of the background oh. for back page. But then this should have been the smart thing, which is right. what they changed. And that's what uh, a lot of the I want to say different states, the police department, what they did was, we're going to go on back page too. Yeah. And so now, when <laughs> <laughs> so what, you you mom, what you going to do? Not even that, man. <laughs> um, Chris Hansen on the line, how may I help you? <laughs> <laughs> you came to see a 14 year old boy? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and so I feel like, you know, the page, they should have took that route. The way yeah. the, you know, law enforcement is going. It's like, you don't try to just crush that. Right. You you deal with it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it's the oldest occupation in the world. Yeah. Right. So yeah. it's gonna still happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what you do, you monitor it. And as some people, I'm sure, with in politics is involved, it's like what they want to do: legalize it and tax it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah of course. Of course. But that's yeah. just my opinion, and I leave that alone. And then, <laughs> and then, in, in, in compromised back page, cop escorts you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I mean, I will say I'm not one of the people who agree with it, but I know we can't stop it. Yeah, it's gonna know, happen, dude. Sex is the oldest job. It is, and it's gonna be around. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? We all have urges. It's it's built into our body. It's built into our genes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So people are gonna make money off of it. They're gonna get opportunities, and you're gonna take them. Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? So, um, but the logical, the I think the next step, if you wanted a, a realistic view on it, is um, you know, like cam girls. Yeah, it's yeah. really popular these days. Like people just uh, girls get webcams and they just kind of like you know put on a show from their mm-hmm. abode or their home and people watch from the internet. I think the next logical step is that's going to have a virtual reality yeah. Yeah. attachment. Yeah. You know Matter of fact, I mean? the um creators uh, they did that uh that Honey Pop game. It's like the oh, um <laughs> those guys. yeah, it's like the bejewel but uh with hentai in it. <laughs> yeah, they just came up with a uh, Honey Pop. Yeah, they came out with a game called Honey Studio or Honey Cam or something uh, like that. Okay, oh, yeah, and it's pretty oh, much cam girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh you gotta love game development freedom. <laughs> yep. Yes. Yeah. Same game about anything. Yeah. Well, you know, coming up next in the news, uh, there's a uh, Sony. There was a rumor. It's not even a rumor anymore. It's been confirmed. Oh, yeah. that Sony that. is making a more powerful PS4, but okay. I don't think I don't think it's in the way a lot of people are thinking. Okay. Like yeah. like when when the first thing that pops in a lot of people's mind, I'm guessing, is when people say, "Oh, somebody's making a more powerful console." They're thinking, "Oh, it's going to have a better graphics card." Where it's gonna have. It's gonna be able to do better games that the people who have the old system won't be able to play. Right. That would be dumb of Sony. Yeah. It's very dumb. Oh, they man. would be. They would be fracturing their market. Right. Separating it into. So what Sony? I think what Sony is planning is they're gonna take the PS4 they already have yeah. and just allow it to output a higher resolution video. But the old consoles will st- and the new console will still be able to play the same games. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. just if you have a 4K TV. You will now be able to see that okay. resolution. Yeah. It would be so dumb of them to actually come out with a better PS4 now. Oh yeah, man. that has would, exclusive games. That that's like oh, the yeah. death of a console. I'd be yeah. like, oh really? Hmm. I mean, and I don't know which who did it. I don't know the exact you know which con- like which system it was, but I believe it was Sega. It was Sega. Sega it did Sega. that, and it's just like you basically just like say, well, 
I can't trust you. Like I invested in this machine, yeah, and then mm-hmm. you turn around and make something better. Like yeah, this soon right now. Like yeah. the timing is, the, is like hard. a CD. Yeah. What? And, and the, <laughs> the Nomad was the the portable Sega, right? Yeah. 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 Now, one thing that I am worried about. Now, I I really am worried about this. Is that um for those who've played on PC for a while, you you start to really understand the importance of frame rate, especially in something like a shooter or something like that. Mm-hmm. There's less guessing of where people are going to be. Yeah. It's more fluent. Yeah. I really am like, how big is the gap? Like, is it gonna, is there going to be a gap in terms of frame rate when it comes to the games that both consoles can play? There can't be. If they, you if you're gonna if you're gonna you know um uh what do you call it preserve parity? That's what I'm saying. Of gameplay, yeah, you can't have that, yeah. right? Because that's I think that's one reason Bungie didn't allow um Destiny players even on the same network to play yeah. against each other. Like, if you have PS3 players playing against PS4 players, that would be uneven odds. It wouldn't be yeah. fair because the PS4 players have a larger draw distance, mm-hmm. their resolution's higher, quicker they can load see times. more, quicker yeah. load times, uh, maybe a higher frame rate. I think they locked it. But yeah. there's so much stuff that goes into that, it wouldn't be fair. So, you can't. I will say there actually was a game that uh, it was DC Universe Online. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't know this, but you it's actually cross-platform between PS3 and PS4. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, you know, I'm playing on PS3, having a blast, playing on PS4. Um, it was great. And then, you know, while I'm playing on PS4, I'm in PvP. And there's this guy on my team, and he, you know, he keeps complaining, he's dying over it. I'm like, what's going on, man? What's going on? And he's like, I'm having the PS3 lag, man. I can't do anything. <laughs> the, the battle will start. Everybody's powers are flying everywhere. Yeah. And I'm just stuck. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, I, and yeah. that's when I realized, I'm like, oh, God, that has to be fucking horrible for yeah. you. I'm, <laughs> I am so sorry. But, yeah. but it, it, I need them to do the smart thing here. Sony's been doing the smart thing for a mm-hmm. while now. We just... Mm-hmm. You just don't need them to get retarded on this. You know? Yeah, like I don't. I, I see where they're going. Like, um, there was also I forgot where I heard it, but there was another really good perspective somebody brought up, and they were saying how um, companies like Sony, Microsoft, they always want to keep a system on the market that has that highest price point. Right. You know what I mean? Like Microsoft did it a bunch last generation. They always were releasing a new version of the Xbox yeah. that had like uh, it was like four hundred or five hundred dollars. You know yeah, what I mean? Because yeah. the other ones were going down in price, so yeah. they were like, "Hey, new Elite version, bigger hard drive." <laughs> hey, we got an HDMI port in this one. Hey, this one's black. <laughs> oh, <we got> <laughs> I love that last. One. Hey, hey, this one's black. Five hundred dollars. <laughs> hey, Halo edition. <laughs> what do you want? I, like, I love that confused look. <laughs> this one's black. I got. I, what do you got? This one's slimmer. I'll be one of the people to admit that that got me. They got you. <laughs> yeah. It was black what? I didn't know I could get that. <laughs> On top of that, what? More hard drive space? What? Yeah. Hell yeah. This is yeah. totally not worth Three hundred. Oh shit! I just said three hundred dollars on another console I already have. Yeah, and then, then, then one red light of death. So I'm like, oh, oh, well, you know, red ring. So I was like, oh well, shit! It's a good thing I got this black one in my closet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I've never experienced red ring. Oh man, three times. Damn, oh my dude, god, that three had to have been nightmare. I, I'm so surprised Microsoft was able to protect the bounce back. brand after. Well, you know, that's terrifying. I, you, well, no, no. I you know what? Like people. I understand where you come from when you uh-huh. say that. Like people are like, I'm, you know, I'm so surprised Microsoft did a good job bouncing back from that. They, I'm surprised they were able to handle it and it didn't kill them. And yeah. like, you forget it's Microsoft and all they do, they yeah. threw money at it. That's you know what I mean. Like <laughs> you, they you spent they spent millions of dollars in that um that uh uh repair program. Oh, yeah. remember? Yeah. And you didn't have to pay anything, even if your warranty was up. If you got the red ring, you could send that crap in. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> they, they they leaked money on that one. But the thing is, it's Microsoft. They had a whole bunch of money, and even though they made one of the biggest mistakes aside from Sony getting hacked on the PS3 oh, back in the day. Yeah. They oh, they just threw money at it and the problem disappeared in a sense. <laughs> and, and you know what? They were smart about it because initially, when the red rings were happening, mm-hmm. they didn't actually fix the issue. Oh Those yeah, who think so because it, notice I said that had three, which yep. means so the first generation <laughs> that happened, the second generation, which was second generation, um, mm-hmm. notice how about third actually mm-hmm. happened again. Okay, yeah, so right. then that's when they everybody on in was like, oh, they don't red ring anymore. It's the newest ones. They don't do that. <laughs> Motherfucker like happened again. <laughs> I, I remember hearing reports of they would take the place, they'll take the Xbox or whatever, and then they'll do the tower, the towel trick, 
and then send it back out to the people. That's <laughs> 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 it's rumors, but I I'm not gonna lie. There's so many people I know that got the red ring, send it in, get it back, got it again. And it's oh, just like man. Man. I would love the for leaked video footage to get out of that. <laughs> like, <laughs> in fact, I think didn't you have a situation that was a bit funky? Yeah, I did. But you know, it wasn't the red ring for me. It was a corrupted hard yeah. drive. Oh, was oh, it a corrupted hard drive? It was drive? a bad hard that drive that came because of an update. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was working fine before the update, and then after the update, I couldn't install any updates. I couldn't couldn't uh, get any updates for any new games or anything like that. So you know, a lot of games were getting updates. Um. Back then, it just locked me out of a lot of stuff. Jeez, and they bro. refused to take care of themselves. Yeah. You know why? Because it was on the end of the, the fix, the, the program they had. Yeah. The repair program. It was already mm-hmm. on the, the lower end. So now they're like, people are quieting now. Yeah. <laughs> you? You can give us something. They're forgetting. <laughs> They're forgetting what happened. <laughs> We're in the clear, guys. <laughs> it's actually funny. I remember the first time I saw the Xbox One. Now it's basically a giant brick with vents everywhere. I'm yeah. just like, you, you're scared of red ringing. There's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. holes in there everywhere. <laughs> breathe! Breathe! <laughs> <laughs> Um, but anyway, next news item: uh, Sony considering bringing the PlayStation VR uh, to virtuality helmet to the PC. Some PC support, uh, mm-hmm. which I think is smart. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, especially with the prices of the Oculus know, and right? the vibe. They're like, oh, it's eight hundred, bro. Like, come on, <laughs> got him. Let me talk to you real quick. <laughs> uh, real it's four hundred, <laughs> six hundred if you don't have the camera. But hey, don't worry about it. You don't have to worry about the camera. Just connect to your PC. That's Boom. right. That's right. Duh, you just save four hundred bucks. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like I gotta admit, there are some caveats to this whole VR thing, right? So, yeah. so the HTC Vive is eight hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, though, the HTC Vive comes with those awesome. Controllers, controllers, new controllers. Yeah, oh, they can man. track in 3D space. It comes with two sensors that you mount uh, in a room. I think the metal is like two meters by by uh, three meters or something like that. That you could, the playroom size you can walk around in. Yeah, it right. comes with two of those sensors you can put up. You get all that for eight hundred dollars, right? The thing is with the Oculus Rift, the, the reason they can be a little lower is like what six hundred, five hundred. Yeah, Oculus? 600, okay. 600, 600. 600. You only get the Oculus Rift. You get a Xbox controller, which is really cheap these days to make and yeah. you get there was something else you get it has headphones built in right uh, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It headphones on the thing so yeah. that's all you get so they're able to bring their price down to sony you get the headset and you can just buy that <laughs> and so they were like four hundred dollars <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> real quick. vr option out there but what sony doesn't tell you is for their um virtual reality experience to work you also need the playstation camera yeah. which is going to run you about yeah. 40 to $60. Yeah. So add that to the $400 price. Also, for the premium experience, you need the Move controllers. Oh, oh yeah. All right. You so, got to do some hunting for those. Exactly. So, you know, they got a bundle that they're also selling that comes with those things for, I think it was 600 So, yeah. so <laughs> they're kind of hiding it. Oh. But, well, that's the thing. If you already have the camera, you know, you could get away cheaper because you already put the money in, you know, but you still need to get the move controllers if you want to have the optimum experience, you know. Yeah. Right. Wait, they're using the same move controllers? Same, same move, move controllers, controllers from last gen. Nah. So outdated technology, mind you. I don't, I don't agree with this. I, 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 yeah. I don't care what nobody say. I love the move controller. I, I think I was like the only, I was trying to jump. Now, granted, this is me coming off of the Wii and I'm just like, and I'm actually it works. moving it and it works. And I'm just like, <laughs> my mind is blown. I know they, they had this sword fighting game on it. That's all I wanted. Motion control to ever do. He was like, where did you betray me? Give me a sword <laughs> fighting game. You betray me. Star Wars game that works. It, oh, wait. Oh, hold understand. up now. Now you say a Star Wars game. Remember, uh, what's it? Uh, what, the oh, dancing no, game on the no, Yeah. No. 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 John trying to say the clip, it's just like, I'm not even doing anything. I'm just, I'm just doing this. And I'm moving. I just wave my hand. This is how you do it. Killing me. This is how I beat the game. Well, that's just the, what, what bothers me about it the most. And like, I get what you're saying. It actually works way better than the Wiimote, right? Okay. right? But that's the thing because their technology came after the Wiimote. They put more R&D into it, right? That's true, that's true. But, so the Move controller came out last year for the PS3, right? Yeah. Imagine how much better the research has gotten since the Move controllers came out. And for your new VR technology, you're going to go with some old technology that you used last gen yeah. when so many breakthroughs have probably happened since then. You're right. Yeah. You're you know right. what I mean? I mean, just the PlayStation 4 controller itself, honestly, it's better than what initially came out with the Wii. You're right. Oh, so, yeah, you're right. right. Yeah. I it's, forgot it's, that's, that, that's yeah, what, the, yeah. what the bar was. Because the, and, and the lack so of natural, natural, though. Though. track that too. And, and that's the thing. It's so natural now. We don't even notice those type of things. But that's, you know. You're right. You're right. So, yeah. 
So yeah. I, I hope at some point, you know, they uh, make some new move controllers. Uh, yeah. But anyway, guys, next one. Nintendo is giving away free legendary Pokemon throughout 2016. Ooh. Interesting. How, 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 how nice of Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> very sinister sounding. Um, what was that? My phone. You throwing like, phones at me? No, my phone just it was Sonic. Y'all can't try to kill me, y'all. He's throwing his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's the distraction. Was it? I'm There's no key to the coming next. That's to make you think you failed. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what the phone called. The one that blocked bullets. Yep. No key, right? The iPhones the distraction, the Nokia's was really coming. Oh, you about to attach it to like a handle just knock me the hell out. <laughs> I nicknamed my phone Max Payne. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always dodging death. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, so man. Sony Sony's actually done a lot this year, actually, because they yeah. just came out with a new uh app for the smartphones. The Mitomo? Yeah. Is it called Mitomo? Yeah, you not? said Sony. That's Nintendo. How dare oh, you? Oh, sorry. So, yeah, I'm getting them mixed up, man. Why are you getting them mixed up? Because they're all the same. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just kidding. Uh, Nintendo came out with a, a free, you know, app, yep. the Mitomo. They're also coming out with Pokemon Go. Is that, yeah. That's later this year, right? Yeah, that's later this year. The um, Mitomo app is actually pretty fun. Yeah? Yeah, I'm I haven't tried it out. I've been meaning to actually. Out, yeah. yeah, um, me, Lorenzo, Dwayne, and a few other people actually have. And this, that's pretty fun. I want, what are you doing it? Um, main thing is, uh, you know, create your little avatar and whatnot. Uh, sometimes they give you like, you know, little questions that you can ask this, either from Nintendo or other people or your actual uh, Mitomo avatar will, you know, ask you mm-hmm. and whatnot. And it's uh, connected via Twitter. Okay. So you actually see what other people are talking about. Okay. But when you answer questions, you get points for it. And that allows you, you know, buy whatever costumes and whatnot that you want for it. But also every day, Nintendo, you know, gives out free stuff. So let's say if uh, I logged in today, uh, I'd probably get like 500 uh, Mitomo coins. So I could go shop, buy me some clothes or whatnot. Yeah. Plus, they also have like uh, featured costumes where uh, I know if you get the Mitomo app now, mm-hmm. connected to your Nintendo account, you get a free Mario costume and oh, whatnot. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, you also, they give you, like I think it's Mitomo Platinum, stuff you can get, and you can buy other exclusive like Nintendo costumes and whatnot. What didn't happen? Who done so, saying something? So <laughs> people in chat are like, <laughs> Where can I get my where can I get my free legendaries? Dwayne, give me my free legendary Pokemon. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Well, let's get back to that. But yeah, the yeah. Mitomo app is pretty fun. You know, it's like a little social thing, almost like yeah. I won't say Facebook. It's a little bit more like Twitter, but it's like more interactive. Yeah, that's what, that's that's really neat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm like I'm really enjoying it. Um, some days they give you like little um different photos of your Mitomo doing something stupid or crazy, yeah. or whatnot. And I think there's a feature where you can take pictures with your Mitomo in it. So yeah, I'm actually liking it. Your Mitomo can go to your your other friends that you may have on there, and you see it's like, oh hey, so and so come to visit. And, you know, they're sitting there chatting and whatnot. You can do ask their questions, mm-hmm. or you know, they comment on whatever you uh, questions you answer and whatnot. Wait, oh. Why does that app remind me of that old uh, exhibit meme? It's like Nintendo's like, hey, we put a camera in our Mitomo app so you can take a selfie while you take a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> Self-deception. Hey, like, for you freeloading Pokemon trainers out there in chat <laughs> in March, which is already passed, so you missed it. You yep. get Celebi. Celebi. Is it Celebi? Celebi. <laughs> yeah, there are some Pokemon it's, trainers that will assassinate so you. For something. It's like Celery. <laughs> celebi. I see. Celebi. Look, I don't know. I'm not touching that. I'm not trying to get killed. That's what I'm saying, brother. I'm, I'm going to try my hardest to mispronounce all these names. Please, okay. Go for it. Oh, no. So in April. That's this month, guys. So if you don't have it yet, go out and get Jirachi. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, the cringe. Hey, go download Jirachi because once once the oh, heat coming from the game room, oh. I don't think they like that. <laughs> once the twenty fourth comes around, you won't be able to get Jirachi again. I'm not with him. I'm not. It's just, it's just. All right. Oh. All right. So in uh, starting next month, from May first to May twenty fourth, you'll be able to get Dark Ray. Dark Ray. Oh, I Dark said it right. right. Shit. No, it's Dark Ride. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's pronounced Dark Ride. Oh, you, know, you, you did it right the first time. <laughs> Adrian, you're the only one who can stop him. <laughs> no, no, no. Let this evil commence. <laughs> Starting in June, you'll be able to get Monopoly. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. 
I'm Manafi? guessing that you pronounce that Manafi or something. Man- like Manafi? Manafi? I guess. Manafi. I don't know. <laughs> our, our, uh, our Pokemon professors in the game room right now are probably getting shot. <laughs> we'll bring him in later. <laughs> as soon as I go to walk out of there, they're going to kill me with Pokeball. Yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact, where is your Master Ball? Is it still in your bag? It's, it's, yeah, it's in the car. It's, okay. It's, hey, oh, yeah. Hold up. Dwayne, stop eating stuff. I know you in there. I heard that. <laughs> oh, ma- Manif- 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 oh, our cameraman oh, 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 cameraman. He broke this cameraman. Oh. <laughs> All right, starting in August, you'll be able to get uh, Arceus. Did I, did I, did I fuck Arceus. it up? Arceus. Yes. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, awesome. I'm trying to. No, no, you fucked up. You skipped one Pokemon. Did it? Did Fuck I? that Pokemon. Oh, oh. <laughs> Pokemon. All right, so in, in July, uh, from July 1st to July 24th, you will be get Shamey. 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 All right. Uh, in September, you'll be able to get Vike Tiny. Oh, I know that can't be right. Oh I know that can't be right. <laughs> it's with Tiny. I even know that. Not. From October 1st to October 24th, you'll be able to get Kill Dio. <laughs> oh, my God. Chat, chat, chat is threatening to slap you. Oh, my God. I can feel him. I can feel him, and it feels so good. <laughs> he feeds off of your anger. <laughs> Give me uh, one more chance. You can only stop him with a lot of... Oh, you want to know? Hold on. I forgot about this. There you go. Oh, oh, give me, give me, oh, give me... Oh, yeah. Uh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> right, tiny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and well, uh, they want to repeat. What was July? July was, um, you'll be able to get Shane. <laughs> <laughs> The Chinese Pokemon. The Chinese. Oh, oh. So you get deaf for that. Oh. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see. Coming in November, mm-hmm. you'll be able to get uh, Genesect. I think he actually said that one right. <laughs> Damn it! Ah. <laughs> oh, I was trying to sound weird. Stop being weird, Japan. How <laughs> weird matches up sometimes. <laughs> and then in December for Christmas, they're going to give you Miloete. <laughs> <laughs> What's the how do you how do you say that correctly? Meloetta. Okay, that's actually kind of uh. kind of nice. <laughs> Meloetta. Meloetta. Is Hello. that? I bet that how it says his name. She sounds like she's getting sensual. <laughs> Go Meloetta. Meloetta. <laughs> <laughs> she about to serenade you or song. Oh, Meloetta. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> Meloetta, hit him with your fuck him up attack. <laughs> Meloetta, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, next news item: Xbox execs provides update on E3 26 planning. E3 mm-hmm. is coming really soon, isn't it? Guys? Yes, it is. Ooh, Actually, exciting. what I think it's what uh, two months away. So they want to know how to get their Pokemon. How do you? How do you, how do you get these Pokemon? Guys? Okay, for some of the Pokemon, like uh, for March, April, uh, I think it's uh, no, not May, March, April, June, July, uh, September, October, and December. Uh, December. 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 You go to the. <laughs> hey, you chill out over there. Come on, get another punch. Come on, chill out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Jirachi. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. Oh, you're making him stronger. All right. <laughs> For those. Pick a child. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I ain't going to punch you no more. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> For those Pokemon, during those months, you report to the Nintendo Network to be able to download them for free. Okay. The ones for May, uh, August, and November, you go to GameStop to get them. Okay. All right. All right you got go. that chat? So, yeah. you Pokemon trainers, go out there. Make Professor Oak proud. Is it, is it Professor? Is he dead? <laughs> Who's the new professor? Who took his place? Yeah. I assume he's dead. <laughs> professor Hogg is dead, right? He's not dead? Yeah. Professor Satama. <laughs> professor Satama. Oh, you <laughs> definitely ain't getting that one. <laughs> you want a Pokemon? Take a punch. <laughs> what, what if it's Professor X? <laughs> is he oh my God. New? Like, it's crossing dimension. Like a Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> professor X crossing dimension. I need more mutants. <laughs> Mutant what animals. Is she <laughs> <in the ball? laughs> Uh, who's this young man with the youthful mutant gene? <laughs> Ash, you say. <laughs> he never ages. Never grows old. <laughs> I've never seen a mutant power so potent. <laughs> <laughs> I've 
never seen a mutant. That oh, was so my. potent. Oh my god! <laughs> Somehow he found out that was uh, Wolverine way back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out to be Wolverine's form the entire time. <laughs> That is very marvel. What do you think, uh, Magneto? It hurts, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> I've never lifted this much yeah. before. Oh my god. <laughs> what is his name? What is this heavy snake? <laughs> I can't lift him, Charles. It's it's only an onyx magneto. I can't <laughs> lift him. He's evolving. Oh, that's a Steelix, Magneto. <laughs> Fuck, Charles. He's heavier. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, man. Well, back to the Xbox. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, okay, so so what's going on? What's Microsoft planning for E3? Because E3 gets me excited. Yeah. I love speculating on E3. All okay. right, so the main thing that's going on for that is that uh, Xbox's uh, executive, I think it's uh, Phil Spencer, Damn, uh, put out a tweet uh, a couple of days ago saying that uh, great E3 review today. Yeah. Team did a good job on highlighting what they have coming. Inspiring team. Hashtag Team Xbox. Oh, so, okay. from that, people are saying, yo, I think this Xbox saying shots are being fired this E3. Oh, so, y'all okay. better be prepared. Hopefully, they can deliver, because right now, and you're kind of on the fence for me, because you uh, push back scale bound. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know what? I, I thought of the perfect way Sony could like fire back if they had to. Oh yeah, they could just go like, oh yeah, you know, hashtag awesome Xbox, hashtag you bring in Fable's journey. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, that one hurt. <laughs> hashtag what happened to Team Lionhead Studio? Right. <laughs> I, I think I think they'll be fine. I think Microsoft will be just fine as long as they don't mention TV. Throughout the entire you know, uh, game, uh, ready to mention TV. <laughs> no, that's no, what got to happen. That's what got it happened last year. You know what? Oh, a little bit of game, little bit of game. TV. Yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. likes TV. Yeah. Did somebody did like TV, a smooth TV. video of that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, love, I love that somebody <laughs> cut together a YouTube video where they put together every time the mic, Microsoft said TV during E3. TV. It was oh, amazing. Our sports. TV. Sports. TV. TV. Sports. TV. No, but you know what? I think Microsoft's whole TV initiative. Uh, it died oh, a while man. back and the last little like uh breath of life in it was, um the game that just came out <laughs> uh, uh, quantum break, quantum Damn, break was the like last that. project with their, <laughs> of their whole tv initiative i think yeah. so you know. Even for the lonely owl we can do sports <laughs> sports tv tv hey, sports TV. Fable journeys. <laughs> Fable oh my journey. God. Sorry, guys. Oh. To all you guys who are looking forward to that being released. Oh, oh, um, Fable journeys. Yeah, I, it's not. Oh, I'm saying sorry to all of those guys. Oh yeah, it's yeah. It's not sorry to break the news to you. It's I wish not. we could have been uh, a little bit better. Xbox we we kind of need the, the Mortal Kombat guy. <laughs> Whoopsie. Whoopsie. <laughs> um. Okay. So next news item. Now this is a really smart thing. You know, Valve. Valve has its like bad sides, but Valve does make some really smart decisions sometimes. And I think they're they're making a move that a lot of other people trying to sell these VR headsets should be doing. Um. Okay. So uh, the HTC Vive, Valve helped develop it with HTC. Right, mm -hmm. it, their virtual reality headset. Um, what they're going to do is they have a new strategy for selling this thing, and it's it's pretty like obvious when you think about it, right? They're going to put it in some game stops, um, and some others. They're going to set up kiosks so people can actually experience VR because VR is kind of hard to sell yeah. if you don't wear the actual yeah. headset. You know what I mean? So they're going to actually set up kiosks, hopefully with uh, huge alcohol napkins so people can wipe the sweat and gunk off of the little eye thing. Yeah. You know? yeah. I'm pretty sure the sweat is going to it's gonna just collect. But anyway, so they're going to actually set up kiosks inside some game stops and some other stores, and you're going to be able to go in and actually try out VR in real in real life, you know, in person. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's going to convert a lot of people. Oh yeah, I want to say that this picture kind of makes me feel like I'm gonna transform into it. Like I want to, <laughs> I want to put my arms out and I want it to connect to me. <laughs> uh, I, oh, I've, I've looked into the vibe, man. That I, I, the vibe is like it's everything we wanted the connect to be mm -hmm. without the shit. <laughs> and it's just like I, I, they got this uh the pirate shooter game mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying where you can have a kimbo pistols or a riot shield or whatever mm -hmm. it's, it just looks so beautiful and responsive all we need is that triple a game and maybe just maybe i can get my lightsaber fighting star wars Ooh. game Ooh. I need that in my life. I got to talk to Disney before they. I that. need yeah. it in my life. I think I think it's gonna happen too. I, I hope so, man. I I've always wanted it, and I feel like Vive is the best chance 
we have to get in here. Yeah, I, th- I think what you're really waiting for is to um is for you know Connectmon Digivolve to Vibemon. Okay, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got to pause you right there for a second. I yeah. Our cameraman keeps <clears throat> in at me. What is up, man? Hmm. For honor. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no. For honor. No, I do not want. No, I don't want VR for honor. See now, now you you stirring up a storm right now. <laughs> no, uh-uh. it's bad enough. Well, not kind of bad enough. Ubisoft is doing it, but from what they presented last E three, it's going to look phenomenal. But you're trying to take that type of combat. Into VR, I'd have punch you in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? No, it's for honor. Yeah. So, All right, for honor, I, I, have you uh, ever seen the game called uh, uh, Chivalry? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of something like that, but a little bit more extreme. It's not like with you know keyboard and mouse or oh, whatnot. Yeah. But uh, in for honor, there are going to be three type of uh, warriors that you can play as. One's going to be a samurai, one's going to be viking, and one's going to be a knight. And okay. each uh, war, you uh, actually fight in that play style. So, okay, let's say we're going to go, I'm going to go for my favorite one, Samurai, because I fucking love Samurai. You can actually switch styles while you're fighting. So, um, if you kind of like do it almost like a battlefront type thing where you yeah. can fight multiple people and whatnot, or you can get challenged to one-on-one duels. Oh, that, that's... And this is in the midst of a giant war that's going on. Yeah. So, you could be running around just getting kills, and that one player who's at the top of the leaderboard is like, hey, I see no, how you're doing. You think I... you hot shit? Come up here and fight me. See, you run up there and you try to fight. And you actually <laughs> one-on-one do it. Now, be mindful. Uh-huh. There are other people out there fighting. Okay. So they see you one-on-one. You go into your freaking samurai stance. Like, oh, what you going to do? Bump your bronze shield. Stab you in your shin, son. Somebody come up and stab see, your ass. See, not <laughs> see I, feel like, I feel like that's going to, like, the game sounds awesome. But the 1v1 thing, I feel like it's going to be, like, how I dramatize Star Wars Battlefront. Uh-huh. You know, when I first got Luke and I'm just like, I'm, just like, I'm a god now. And I'm just destroying, you know, stormtroopers. When yeah. I see Darth Vader, and I expect everyone to see me and Darth Vader, and just back off and just be like, "Oh shit, it's about to go down." The, the big yeah. boys are about to play. No. And it, it honestly just turned into ah, Darth Vader, and then me getting shot in the back fifty times. <laughs> <laughs> and, Most likely. Yeah. yeah what but, happens to the kings of crunk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But like I said, from last year what they're showing, I think people be smart enough not to run in there yeah. and do yeah, that. Yeah. But you know, you're gonna have those assholes. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> one v one, I'm gonna give me a free kill. Okay. <laughs> be careful doing that because there will be other people doing one on one duels. So they see that Prepare to get your ass chased out. <laughs> Especially if you yeah. outnumbered. You know, yeah. I find I find it funny how like, you know, like us gamers that are really like into games, mm-hmm. when we try to like, if we encounter a person that doesn't know a lot about games, yeah. and they ask us what a certain game is like, don't you guys find it funny that we explain the game to them with another game? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> or, or it's sort of like Halo. Like you know, you got you got the gun when you go in the thing, and and then then it sort of turns into Assassin's Creed, and there's still like laws like what the fuck. <laughs> I, I, I got no vision of what this game's like in my. How do you describe it though? Someone who's never played video games before. I think and you're I trying think, to describe think, a let's say a sequel or something. Yeah. So wouldn't you always go to what you expect them to know? Well, no. I think I think we sort of we can revert back to a state before we were gamers, mm-hmm. where when we were kids, how we used to explain the fuck out of shit. And then it was only good for kids then. When well, no, you no, no, an adult, no. they're like the fuck. Well, that's the thing. I, I can imagine, imagine, imagine this, right? I think we can do it. It's just we're so used to talking to other gamers that we just throw games in as examples because it's yeah. faster. Yeah. But yeah. I think, like, let's I'm, test this. Let's test this right now. Uh, okay. okay, I want you to explain to me, uh huh, Star Ocean. I've never really played Star. Ocean. Uh-huh. It's well, it's like that okay. RPG, like Final Fantasy. Oh, see, you oh, yeah. that's, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Like, okay. that's the way you would do it. Playing Final Fantasy 15, but what you know, explain yeah. that to me. Like, I never played. Like, you never play games. So, so what is this? Five F F X B? What's that? Well, you get you get transported to this magical world, and you're you're with a group of friends. You have you ever seen a movie? <laughs> I'm in the movie no. Where, where these these friends go on a road trip? Uh, yeah, I've seen oh, a so movie. That's like, that's like the, the sister brotherhood pants thing. Yeah, like but okay. imagine these friends. They were a bunch of badasses, and they like to wield swords and magic. 
Okay. Oh, where did they get their swords and magic from? I thought they were traveling with their pants. Just just let it go. Just let it happen. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, the pants are the magical weapons. So, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, there you go. We got a bunch of friends, and they can wield swords and magic, and he's trying to discover some sh- fucked up shit his father did overnight. He's trying to do something for his father. Oh. So they go on this road trip. Wait, so he's a bad boy daddy issues? Yep. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. I and so like he's, he's trying to go on this road trip to a certain place, and him and his friends have to fight these huge monsters. That you have no idea how you're gonna beat, but like the more you fight them, the stronger you get. And it's Final Fantasy 15. Oh, like I'm mean, still not going by. <laughs> I don't think this game is for me. What is, what is the movie? Fucking Tetris is over there. <laughs> get back in your corner, scrub lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, man. but yeah I, I just thought that was kind of funny yeah but. I can see doing that to someone who we have to go to something they know period though. yeah you, so have, you have to go to movies mm-hmm. or you have to go normally video games yeah, yeah. or I mean how do you do that to someone who only plays crossword puzzles mm. Mm, man that's a hard one to do yeah mm. we figure something out we just throw the VR in the headset and I'm like here play imagine your words or weapons <laughs> <laughs> No pencil is the tool. Save all of the crossword <laughs> Every letter you make, the curves make magic. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, anyway, next news item. Sony's gaming biz coming to America. Okay, so we got another one of our crew coming in. Uh, everybody, I'd like to introduce you to the corn. What's going on, my what's, friend? What's up, man? This this is my first time on here. I'm he was falling asleep. <laughs> yes, I was falling asleep. I'm sorry, okay? He was over there just napping in that chair. Oh, okay. Catching catchin the, the biggest of Z's. All the Z's. <laughs> All the Z's. <laughs> so, Daquan, come yeah. close to the mic, sir. Oh, okay. So, uh, so how you doing? What you been up to? Um, they, okay. they never met. They need to know about you. They've oh, never really? seen you ever. Oh, my ever. God. I'm offended. You're, you're, wait, you're offended they've never seen you? Shut up. I it's your fault. <laughs> it's your, you're the one sitting <laughs> over there. Uh, I felt some hate from that. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, so Sony, Sony uh, uh, Gaming Biz coming to America. What does that mean? Okay, uh, th- this is mean. Uh, um, in California, they already opened up their new um, firm, um, base firm. Okay. But they are merging their other base firm in Japan. And um, one in California together. Okay. So, in other words, that um, Sony um, Entertainment International Service is now becoming um, Sony International Entertainment. I do have a question about that. Oh, mm-hmm. One, this merging is it going to lead in any layoffs? Did they say anything about that? They have not said anything about it. Um, only reason. They are pretty are you much. You fucking to fire me? Plus, man, twenty five years. <laughs> my, reason, my reason for asking for that is because I'm all for a merger where they keep all that manpower and they kind of no, condense no, it no, because right. that's going to mean great things. But no, um, no, 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 they, they, their home headquarters are separated, oh. but they are more communicating yeah. to each other. More. Yeah, which means more manpower. Yeah, yeah. yeah. More that's manpower, what I'm hoping for. More better communication. And more optimized engine. Yeah. 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 Runs yeah. better. But more. no one fired. No, a better no PlayStation one. Network. Yes, I know. I know, I know. One one. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully a better and, PlayStation um, Network. <laughs> and like I say, they focus on more games, focus on uh, third parties. That's like Twitch. That's come on PlayStation View and all the other download i engine uh, apps that on the PlayStation Four is going to get more focus, more, more attention, maybe. Yeah, more, more attention. Yeah, because now I can, I can tell because they haven't really been putting it out there like that. No, it seems yeah. it seems very uh, bare bones currently mm-hmm. with a lot of the apps they have. It's outside of maybe their own apps which they had for last E3. Yeah, which yeah. hopefully I hope they do again this E3. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. it gave you that whole app where you downloaded this and you watch E3 on this PlayStation using this app. Yeah. yeah, and you got into sweepstakes. You got points, and you could use those points to you know do little, little things with, which I thought was neat. Yeah, but at yeah. this at this core, it's like that app had way more to it than any other app on the PlayStation almost. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. mm. um, it, it's, you know, it's funny because not not so long ago, Microsoft did the same thing. Yeah, basically, Microsoft was such a huge corporation that it got to the point where 
um, all of their different sections had a very hard time communicating with each other. Yeah. Right. I mean, right? um, in, in order for something to get done, you had to pass it through this first. Then he had to pass it through that. Then she had to pass it through that. And it's just a long, ex- a long process. And it takes forever for something to happen. So they retooled everything. Right. They mm-hmm. started getting they, they restructured all the departments so that everything could work smoothly. Everybody could talk and communicate better and faster. And so decisions could get made more often. Right. And better right. things could happen faster. So I think that's what Sony's doing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Sony probably had very not bad communication, mm-hmm. but very like, um, what do you call broken, it? broken, broken <laughs> communication <laughs> between their two main headquarters. Yeah. So yeah. they're like, let's just restructure this entire thing. Let's make it more optimized. Let's form into one collective strong front. And let's let these different services, these different uh, communities within our corporation communicate a little bit faster. And right. I think we'll see the results of this in like a year, uh, maybe. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, but I think it's something they needed to do. You can Actually, even something as simple as PlayStation Network. I think um, the problems stemming from PlayStation Network probably had something to do with how unoptimized they were as a corporation. Right. Yeah. You know? um, actually, um, though, to um, jump on your fat about that, mm-hmm. they started... To jump on my fat? Yeah, I jumped on your fat. <laughs> jump on my fat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. To jump on that, mm-hmm. um, they started that merger um, on April the 1st. Of this year? This year. So when is it expected happened? to be done? Uh, they haven't gave more details on, on upon that, but the one the main reason why they decided to take initiative of this because mm-hmm. a lot of gamers and in, in uh, UK uh, you- and you know, uh, in uh, North America mm-hmm. wanted Japanese and Japanese ported games. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. and, about that. Yeah, they, they that's what one of the main reason why they did it. And because, they have a lot they more. They got a lot currently. A lot, right. more, a lot games more and people just finding them out like, oh my god, this is an amazing game. And, and Please. Like, <laughs> yeah, or uh, rest in peace, Lick Sang. See, yeah. I, I don't know that one. I don't <laughs> even know this because Sony sued them out oh. of existence. They Whoa. used to be an import service. Sony oh. sued Lick Sang, got them shut down back in the nineties. But oh. they were one of the one of the bigger game importers back wow, in the day. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's, that's that. scary. Actually, L I K S A N G. Look it up. We'll post it somewhere, guys. History. Yeah, Lick Sang, yeah. man. We'll oh, post God. it somewhere. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Rest in peace, Lick Sang. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's pretty much all the information coming out with Sony. Okay. They yeah. will, I will be tracking on that and see what's going on. Yeah, keep us updated, dude. I will. I that's that's will. good. I mean, like I expect good things from this, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, nothing bad can come from communicating better. No, no. You know? But I will say that's going to put a lot of those, those of you who are fans of Gundam, I mm-hmm. put a lot of those Gundam games that's so amazing that we don't get here. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> we'll finally be, be able to obtain games like that. Those of you who know of God Eater, oh. we'll be getting those games over. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, you know, because there's a ton of games that Japan has that we <laughs> hope, and we're not even talking about Attack on Titan, but what? games that we hope we have Yeah, that already said it's coming up yeah. later this month. <laughs> Guess who we get two version? And That's what I don't you, <laughs> buy, you already got the Japanese version. It's like, oh, it's English, I'm buying it too. Yeah. And we're we'll just trying to be able to get that. Yeah. It won't be one of those things where it's like, oh man, are we going to be able to get that? Yeah. Like, especially with J Stars, how long it took for us to get that? Oh, God. Yeah. Like, yeah. I bought it. Took, um, it, took, it took more than a year. Yeah. Because I had my J Stars because I. Players. And um, <laughs> for a long time before I even it even got in the stores for PS3, and I, I was right. like, "Why are you here now?" Yeah. I mean, I know other people need it because they needed that exposure, but it's still one of those things like so much time passed right before we had access to it. And it'd be great for us not to have to worry about that because things are still fresh. Yes. Oh yeah, and it has spread that knowledge for things that we care about. Mm-hmm. It'll go, it spread to the to a wider audience. Right, because now people who don't know of you know. They would never see anything about God Eater. But they, yeah. they'll see the game, and they're like, oh, that looks kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And then they'll pick that up, and all of a sudden, now we have a you know, fan base has increased. Yeah. So I am overjoyed about that type of thing. I, I definitely can't wait to see what they're going to do. With Under Night and Birth is also a good one, chat. Yeah. Because we, a lot of us here, have played Under Night. We played it before we came to the States. Really enjoyed the game. And so we always hoping, like, in the next installment, will we even get it here? Mm-hmm. Is right. the thing. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So, uh, let's check in with the game of crew. Alright guys, sorry about that. We're, we're back. back. 
Yay! Sorry. Um, we were trying to figure out some issues. Had a little bit of a setback there with the uh, with the Hoppage. Hoppage is being an asshole. PBR <laughs> two. <laughs> um, we we're trying to get that. <laughs> the back. camera's like pointing at the ceiling. But in the meantime, yeah. we're camera man. Camera. Oh, it's, it's, got all, everybody. it's all in the ceiling. Man. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> but uh, we will we will continue with the news until we can get that sorted out. All right. In the meantime, so uh, what was the next topic? <laughs> oh wait, we're back up. We're back oh, up. Really? Teams. Really, Hoppage? Really? Oh, That's how you do? That's how you do. You gonna scare us? We think we doing a bad job. Turns out we doing good. Hop it, you ass. I'm, I'm down for, I'm down for switching those out next time. All right. All right. So <laughs> next time, guys, we will we will bring one of the many. Um, Elgato's we have. I uh, know, right? <laughs> I need one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so where we were. Uh, All right, so let's go back with the description, sir. Continue <laughs> back to where the Enter the Dungeon is. Pretty much, there's this dungeon with overpowered weapons that's pretty much trying to bring yeah. chaos to the world, yeah. and it's up to the four different type heroes. Well, I guess you can't really call them heroes since uh, one is a convict, <laughs> right? <laughs> But uh, you you get to select for four different type of players. Uh, fifth one uh, later on throughout the I think either week or month it's going to be actually called the Cultist. So that'll be kind of interesting to see. But what this game is is a roguelike uh not really similar a roguelike dungeon game where uh everything in the dungeon is literally what you'll see from guns. So the enemies are actually ammunition that will shoot at you. Uh, they also have like some knights that shoot you know, different type of beams and whatnot, almost like a little bit like Galaga. Okay. You have like okay. different type of, you know, bullets and whatnot flying at you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the basis of the game is to see if you can make it out of the dungeon, find this super off, uh, ultra powerful weapon and, you know, kind of save the world okay. if you want to, or, you know, you can just be an asshole and destroy, you know, it's your choice. <laughs> <laughs> so so is it, is it multiplayer? Yes, it actually is multiplayer. Uh-huh. I'm surprised that, you know, no one else kind of, Connect the controller. Me to too, actually. Out. That's what I thought they were going to be playing with each I other. I think the best part is that you can flip tables. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Flip tables? Yeah. Game yeah. purchase so, right there. Yeah, so <laughs> going into it uh, with the mechanics here, yeah, you can actually flip tables, uh, kind of kick barrels down and knock them to enemies and whatnot. Shoot to either make it blow up or use the tables as cover mm-hmm. and whatnot. And the main mechanic in the game is dodge roll. Yes. Whoa. You have to dodge roll in order to avoid and whatnot. <laughs> and sometimes even dodge roll doesn't help. <laughs> that, yeah, that that's when you use your blast yeah and what they call blanks actually what blanks do is it eliminates all ammunition that's flying around in the room you know to kind of help you get throughout the level it kind of makes you feel up. like that uh classic dragon ball z scene when they just throw both arms out and yeah. everything just goes away yeah it disappears <laughs> like, i can't deal with this right now matter of fact hold on, where is it there you go <laughs> <laughs> Like, uh, Chris, it's like two on me. I need, you, I, I need you on me. We're gonna do this, Adrian. On What's my up? count. What you gonna give do? me that sound effect? Give it to me. Oh, which one you want? Well, I, I want the last Hold one on. you just did. Okay. I want All to right. wipe the world away. All right. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get up on you. Yeah. Was, was that a boomerang? Nah. Something. Did that. I just throw a boomerang? You did yep. something. Hey, chat. Catch this. <laughs> <laughs> Hang it tight. <laughs> Bullet King is not amused. <laughs> he is not. So yeah, um, actually, let like, people can actually see the the different uh, bosses on here. Look at it. So yeah, as you can see, Bullet King is not a pushover. His throne is literally made of nothing but guns, and he is a giant bullet that you know pretty much doesn't take anybody's shit. Dang. Yeah, and um, throughout the game, you know, um, you'll find like some rooms that have like treasure chests, whatnot. Mm-hmm. If you get like keys off enemies and whatnot, they'll give you more powerful weapons on mm-hmm. there. But not, and that's going to help you kind of progress through the game. You know, if you uh, clear whatever dungeon that you're in or like whatever floor that you're on the first one, you actually get to keep that weapon. Ah, if cool. you die, you lose that weapon. And it'll actually tell you, it's like, oh, you were killed by a uh, Bullet King or you were killed by uh, one of the blobbins things that are on there. There's actually like a little blood blob that walks around. Oh my god! On there. How? Yeah. You just yeah. How? How? Yeah. Holy crap! Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a real fun game. That was ridiculous. If you had to use that, uh, that blank. To save this butt. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so how much is this game and where can you get it? Uh, you can get it off of PSN and I believe on uh, PC as well and also on Xbox Live. But uh, I think right now the main ones who are broadcasting is PSN. But you can get off of PSN for fourteen ninety nine. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, it actually bad. really isn't. And for what's all in the game, I, oh, God, it's worth every penny. <laughs> <laughs> all right. No, no. Well, gamers yeah. can... Huh? What's... No, plus, your plus. 
PlayStation Plus? No, no PlayStation Plus. No, Plus. no, oh. yeah, no PlayStation Plus for this. Though game. it does seem like a PlayStation Plus game. Yeah. Oh, and I should mm-hmm. mention that the co-op is actually couch co-op. There's no online co-op, at least not of yet. I don't know if they may try to add that in there. It'd be cool if they did. But you know, couch co-op. Um, it allows up to two. Ah, oh, no. that's the cool little feature on there. If you get ah. if you get killed, the dungeon actually you know takes you out. Dang. Okay. Yeah, it's real cool. It's vicious all the way. Mm-hmm. All right, gamers. Uh, it's I will let you continue to die some more, <laughs> and we'll check back in with you a little later. I almost killed him. <laughs> <laughs> you almost killed him. Try again. <laughs> Each time you get closer, I hope. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Next little news item here. Well, not next little news item. This is a major. huge news item. Major. Special. Final Fantasy uh, 15 uncovered. Dwayne, what do we got going on here? Oh my God, I've been waiting this game for so long, and now we finally got the freaking release date. <laughs> September 30th. <laughs> September 30th. Mm-hmm. September 30th. And that, that little roll they did when they were releasing. And oh, oh yeah, the little troll. I was like, oh, you son of a. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, all right, we're gonna skip no it's we're gonna skip September, go to November. Yeah, I psyched that was September. Great. I was like, oh my heart. You can't be doing this to me, Square. But you got me. You got me. <laughs> you know, recently I just played the demo, the new demo they released. The platinum demo. And oh, I gotta yes. admit, like that game, even though it feels like a tech demo, but coupled with the soundtrack. And also, like, that boss battle at the end of the demo. Yeah, the I'm Iron like, Giant. Yes, yeah, yes. I'm like, this is cool. This mm-hmm. is just I, cool. I fought him, like, ten times. Yeah, same here. <laughs> and it was like, okay. First, I, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Because the I was so used to playing Kingdom Hearts. And yeah. when I played it, it's similar, but it's different but it's to the different. point where I couldn't just go in, go in and manhandle him. I actually got my ass kind of destroyed the yeah. first time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I didn't die, but he beat the shit out of me. Yeah. yeah. And so mm-hmm. it was like, okay. When I barely won, I was like, I gotta fight this guy again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And more, and, you know, and I want to say about the third time I fought this guy, I was yeah. actually making him look pretty good. <laughs> and then, you know, you figure out little things where you can go higher, yeah, you know, yeah. get away from Gee, and, those warp strikes and yes. warp points thing. And it's like everything in there, it, it comes together. Like, and it's like, oh, well, there's a lot of room where this can go. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm actually, mm-hmm. I'm excited. And that's yeah. just a platinum demo. And yes. for those who haven't actually got to play the Final Fantasy 15 demo, I think it's actually available now. It's uh, for free. Yeah, it's, yeah. On, it's on the store. Yeah. The play, yeah, play, the play on platinum demo is on the store. No, the the actual 15 demo. Oh, the episode. Um, do, this guy? Uh, yeah, this guy? Deuce, yeah. um, is, it, uh, is it free? I haven't is seen it. it. No, it's still with the Type Zero thing. Yeah, you have to have a Type Zero, uh, and then you gotta get the code uh, thing in order to download it. And, uh, and that's, 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 that's the only way you're gonna get it. And that means getting a new it. copy of Type Zero. Yeah, mm. yeah. You might as well get a new copy because if you try to get yeah. used one, it's, it's already gonna be activated. Uh, so you have to get uh, a brand new copy of Type Zero. So well, unless you find somebody that bought Type Zero and, and just not give a crap about it. Yeah. Everybody who bought that game won because that was my reason. They bought it because yeah, they wanted demo. Ah, I'm definitely. I mean, the game wasn't bad. Yeah. It was still a PSP game, in my opinion. It was still yeah. A PSP yeah. Game. yeah, I played it. I played it in beat but, it. I just wasn't into like yeah. going back all over yeah. again. It was right. a, they could have did more to it, but it, it was all right. It was a good game. Yeah, so, yeah, so yeah. along with this big uh, Twitch that Square Enix did, what were some of the things they announced? Uh, they also announced the anime series, a five oh. um, episodic episode of um, Fifteen called Brotherhood Final Fantasy. Fifteen. Okay, is it any good? Did you watch it yet? Yeah, the yeah. first episode is it's on YouTube. You can watch it now, people, if you want. It, it's um, for free. Yeah, yeah it's free, free, completely free. That's, That's the it. thing and with Square. It's like while they were doing the presentation for it, they say yeah. it's on YouTube right now, and people and, are trying to leave. Yeah, they, <laughs> they would tell people don't leave yet because there's still more stuff we're releasing for mm-hmm. this. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it, it was definitely. Well, what's it? What's it called for the people in chat that actually want to go uh, watch it? Uh, don't watch it right now, Chance. Oh God! <laughs> what, are <you> doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Don't this off. <laughs> uh, um, the way okay, the way I found it, I was like, okay, um, I found the Final Fantasy 15 Brotherhood. YouTube channel, and then yeah, and then just find Brotherhood Final Fantasy 15. You're gonna. You'll I'm find pretty it. sure they made it a little bit more simpler now. So if you yeah. type in Final Fantasy 15 Brotherhood, yeah, anime, I'm pretty sure it's gonna come up. And there's actually a screenshot up there, dude. It, it's yeah. really oh, it looks yes. cool. Yeah, it's really good on. I there. mean, it's not Magic School Bus, but I make an exception. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. All right, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, you know, everybody like Miss Frizzle. Miss yeah. Frizzle. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> get, get messy. Yep, that was her <laughs> thing, right? That was her. <laughs> get messy. Get messy. <laughs> <laughs> messy. Like make fr- mistakes. Miss Frizzle, get what messy. exactly do you do to get messy? Hey, hey, you know, do you really uh, want to know? No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> All it takes is a school bus, Liz. And a little mud. 
<laughs> Mistakes happen. Oh, oh man. That's, that's mine. Happen. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so Dwayne, uh, what, what else? Was there anything else? Uh, they also about to release a mobile app pretty soon. They have not gave us the exact release date, but they said it's going to be before the official game. Um, Justice Monsters 5. What was what's that? It's kind of like a classic pinball type with um hmm, the iconic okay. um elements of Final Fantasy, like the chocobos and the um cat the cat is people. Cat <laughs> cat I call people. Moodles and yeah. primals and and whatnot. But it, hey, look, really amazing to me. I say, yo, when when it comes out, I'm I'll try it out. So they haven't announced the release date or not? They haven't announced the release date yet. Okay. Just yet. Okay. And Ultimate Collector's Edition, only thirty thousand made? Uh yeah, that was like yeah, yeah. So you you know you're going you, to go you, you, you people. Yeah. If you listen out, you're not going. You're not going to get it. You're, you're not going to get it. Okay. Well, okay. but they actually making plans of you know, um, you know, making more. Yeah, making like more. Okay. 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 They they didn't. It's of course this hasn't been verified yet, but they have uh, not all the copies that were sold out were put up. Yeah. No okay. reservation. Okay. So those of you who did um try to get one. Initially, and you got put, you know, it was like, oh, yeah, you're you're successful. And then, like, maybe a few days later, it's like, oops, how bad you <laughs> weren't successful. Um, you're on a waiting list. <laughs> yeah, and it puts you on a, a waiting list. But this waiting list is like, the, instead of saying um, you're on the, the waiting list, you're mm-hmm. on the, uh, what's the exact term to use? Uh, it's uh, like. Uh, you're expecting? <laughs> no, you're not pregnant. Oh, God. <laughs> you're on the. It, it's like a special waiting list or an exclusive waiting list, which means basically, okay, whenever the next copy comes in, you will get it before the people who just reserved. Right. Okay. So okay. you are a priority. You're in a priority waiting list. Okay. okay. Uh-huh. So, um, that's that's another thing. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Not a little uh-huh. bit more the uh, the CG animated. Oh no. Well, yeah, CG animated move that they're gonna have. King's also Glaive with the movie. Yeah, it's called King's Glaive. Wait, CG animated movie like Avent Children? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Okay. But looking a whole lot better. Oh, yeah. Uh, looking a whole lot hey, better. Hey, is hey, the story going to be a whole lot better, too? It's going to focus on. <laughs> 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 well, and, well, not being an avid Final Fantasy fan chat. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to watch it. I was like, this looks good. But I am so lost story wise. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't play seven, then coming into yeah, that, yeah. you're just like. Who's a Sephiroth guy to keep talking about? <laughs> oh, he has a nice sword. Wait, why does he only have a one wing? Wait, what if, why the fuck does he have long silver? So many questions, man. And more importantly, who's mother? <laughs> why do they keep saying mother? <laughs> yeah, that's a whole nother episode by itself. Mm, that's a whole episode by itself. But, you know, but uh, I mean, but at least the story is more cohesive well, than yeah. Spirits Within. And, yeah. Oh, they get better every time. That's not hard to do, bro. <laughs> Final Fantasy Spirits with it. Go watch it. Enjoy. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. You're not ready. Don't do it. Uh-uh. But uh, I will say uh, for the the upcoming King's Glaive, it's a story, and the story is not. It's not. The father is not the main story. Okay. okay. Not this isn't the main story. Neither is his father. His father is a key character in it, mm-hmm. but he's not the main character. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the main character is a knight, actually, oh. and as mm-hmm. kind of like with King Arthur, is a few knights uh, yeah. together. They make like nice yeah. around yeah. King's mm-hmm. okay. so you know it's a story based around them yeah. um that guy you can see in the center there if you can make him out he knock. i forgot his name knock, knock, knock. Uh, um nix yeah nix who's actually played by aaron paul what that was the, shot from Breaking Breaking Bad. the guy from breaking bad yes, in the yeah, new speed like, movie uh-huh. yep. so, uh-huh. yes. <laughs> yes. and uh he's voicing him he seemed excited Oh yeah, he oh yeah. It, 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 I don't. But know he's whether... an actor, though. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's an actor, whether... also a gamer. Yes, I okay, couldn't tell okay. whether he was like excited to the point where he was trying to not say too much. Yeah, because uh, it seemed like he was like kind of like, oh crap, I don't know what to yeah, say. Yeah, he's what like, what can I say? Yeah. What can I not and, say? And then uh, he kept stuttering through things. It was kind of yeah. like, oh, I want to do, I want to yeah, say, too I want to say so much, but more. I can't. And so that was kind of was like, oh, well, okay, all right, cool. Yeah, they had another um pretty well-named actor on there um uh, can't think of his name but he's been in the uh the lord of the rings movie right uh, and he's actually playing uh the father yes, on there yes, or, or king. actually the king, the king. On king there. i can't think of his name but uh i'll, like, I'll bring it up an elf king or no no he's a uh, regular king uh, no. <laughs> i was like oh i know it that's agent smith <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> um let's see so last little bit of news guys and then we move to the next section Chatbots are coming to Facebook and a lot of other platforms. Now, I know when I say chatbot, you're already thinking like, oh, it's it's one of those things that used to be in Yahoo Messenger 
or Microsoft MSN Messenger that tried to have sex with me. No, not those chat bots. Not the people that say, hey, baby, looking for a good night. Or what you're wearing. Oh, God. And then you go to type back in and it has these pre-programmed responses and you just have a little fun with it and see how far the bot goes. Nothing like that. So this is supposed to be the next step evolutionary-wise in uh, where apps are supposed to go in the future. Right? So the way the guy was explaining it when I read the article, when I listened to a little uh, podcast they made, um, when uh, they first created apps, basically it was supposed to be extensions to your phone, right? Mm -hmm. You go to the store, you download apps. And they said, like, basically, uh, a lot of people who have smartphones, a lot of them don't download apps, really, these days. They you download maybe one or two, and then they don't go back. So what <laughs> what's going to happen is, basically, if you wanted to see a movie or if you're um, messaging back and forth with your friends and you guys are deciding on a trip to go to, or if you, you know, you're trying to decide on a concert to go to, they're going to start building apps into messaging services. Right. So let's say I was in a conversation between Battle Bear and Jr. and Dwayne and Daquan. Right. Mm -hmm. We were trying to decide on a movie. So based on what we said about our past experiences with movies, a bot would be remembering everything we said. Right. If mm -hmm. like you know, let's go see that Flintstone movie, and then one guy's just like, "Fuck Flintstone!" I saw that movie back in there, and I didn't like this about it. the bot. Would remember all that, and the bot would try to contextualize all that information to give us a recommendation in the same chat. All right. Or let's say we were talking about a concert or my friends like, hey, could you meet me over here? We're going to see this concert by, you know, who blah, 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 blah. Buddy Rock. Like, I don't know. Buddy Rock. Like, oh, and just in case you don't like that one, there is going to be a live concert and showing a uh, blues clue. Exactly. And not only that, mm -hmm. like basically oh. the guy said, <laughs> when when this um, when this chat bot system comes to full fruition, basically, not only would you get good recommendations, but. You would actually also be able to get an Uber ride over there oh. and everything all from within the messenger window. That's you would never really have mean. to leave out to yeah, go with really the apps mean. or anything like that. You know, um, if your friend puts an address in your messaging system, you just click on the address. It brings up a little Uber window in the messenger app itself. And you can just click one tap on the car and it orders the nearest Uber for you. That's great. You know what I mean? Or wow. if you were um, trying to find new clothes or whatnot, uh, based on what website you were on or whatnot, um, the bot would try to like contextualize all the information it knew about you and recommend clothes for you and all that stuff. So basically, they're trying to take all the apps that you go to separately and put them all in a messaging system. The only issue I see with that mm -hmm. is that uh, it's there has been many attempts to do this. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. they have not ended well. I want to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. some are hit and miss. Like the one that I was I want to say is very hit and miss. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's great though. The longer you use it, it is Pandora. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, you know how it's like, oh, you keep thumbs up, thumbs down. And then sometimes, mm -hmm. like, fuck it. I'm just about to just throw one at you. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if you like it. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> you're like, immediately your face turns. It's like, <laughs> the hell is it? Like, you're like, I can taste this music in my mouth. What yeah. is it? Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> but, but I mean, it gets Water. better. So I, I have both high hopes, mm -hmm. but also it's like, no, I don't think you're going to have. Taste. Yes. At the same time, it's like, I hope for the best. Yeah. But I'm expecting kind of. Mediocre. Yeah. yeah. So. I mean, and also personally, um, I would rather swipe and tap than type. I got you. You know what I mean? Like, I could see this this technology surviving in its own capacity, but not replacing apps. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, right. there's, apps are still going to be better for something. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. but I could see it being super convenient to, like, if, you know, I'm in a messaging and it, it provides me with extra options. I can see it I'm being good for service. driving. Like, say yeah. you're driving and you're like, Oh, and you guys are almost at the movie theater, and you're like, "Oh shit, what the movie we want to go see is unavailable." Yeah, yeah. What, is, yeah. what can we watch tonight? Because we're already out here. What can we watch that might not be a waste of time? Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, the bots in your conversation, yeah. like, "Hey, that other thing's out," and the director that did that also did this, and mm -hmm. it's, it's, yeah, and you're like, "Oh, but that's at the dollar movie theater," and the bots like, "Listen to me, go watch it. <laughs> <laughs> it is <Yeah>. good. <laughs> you will enjoy it." <laughs> and you go there, <laughs> and you go there, and you're like. And in certain cases, let's say in one of those cases where you didn't go to see the movie, you're like, oh, uh, Kingsman? Never seen that before. And you go in there, you're like, oh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Kingsman was one of those surprises. Yeah. yeah. Like, I didn't expect Kingsman to be that awesome. I didn't know what that movie was about. I was like, it's the British Secret Service James Bond thing. I don't know. And then when <laughs> it, I was like, oh, my God. Like, yes, I was yes. like this is amazing. This is so good. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that was the little bit of news. Uh, on to our next segment. Let's go to the games radar. Now, in case you guys don't know what wow. Games Radar is, is this when we talk about new games on the horizon that you might not know about mm -hmm. uh, that are coming to a system, console, PC, uh, Game Boy, Game Gear, 
DS micro <laughs> micro <laughs> near <laughs> you. <laughs> oh my pocket pocket oh game my. boy pocket <laughs> Neopet. <laughs> oh goodness, Tamagotchi. Neopet. Tamagotchi. Oh, Tamagotchi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you can play these on the Tamagotchi, oh my gosh, <laughs> I need to be a Tamagotchi <laughs> right now. I'm surprised they haven't made like a super advanced Tamagotchi out and of all the awesome. Well, you know what? Out of VR is going to be right around the corner, so that's I wonder true. how that's going to compete. Imagine like VR version mm. of Yu Gi Oh, VR or, version of Nintendo Dogs. Oh. Or, oh, oh my god. god. Oh. <laughs> yes. That's a I want to see a VR version of Tamagotchi. Yes. Because when your little spaceship flies away, you can be like, <laughs> <laughs> Never has 2D poop look so real. Right? And it's all the same shape. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I keep feeding you. You keep pooping. You haven't changed. <laughs> <laughs> you little scumbag you were when I first met you. <laughs> you, never, you never learn how to potty train yourself <laughs> at all. <laughs> Oh, oh, you had the little Digimon Tamagotchi? I did. Why actually, yeah. you involved? <laughs> I was so happy. That one was amazing. And I had like three of them. Only yeah. because I wanted different colors of the uh, the Digi, uh, the uh, Digivices. Yeah. So I had a black one, a red one. Because, you know, like, who's the black? Digi- anyway. <laughs> I'm, assuming, I'm assuming it was uh, Black Agumon or Black War Greymon. No, it was, it was just, just the, the Digivice was just black. Oh. Mm-hmm. And it was one, it was like second generation. Yeah. Yeah. It, I, yeah. Mm-hmm. I just don't remember who it belonged to. Yeah, uh, hmm. Digi Emperor. Yeah, and that's what I was. The emperor. Yeah. Oh, yeah, was okay. Like, so I was like, oh yeah, with the spires you. and stuff. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you know, Arukinimon and Mummymon. Wait, yeah. Mummymon was in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I had those two, and it was like each time I was just happy when I got another Digimon. But of course, as usual, I was like fighting for that that War Greymon at some point. Yeah. That yeah. I got, and then of course the first generation didn't didn't have those. I don't believe. Um, I don't they think stopped so. at was it Mega? No, Champion. No, I think, no. No, I think was it was Mega? Ultimate. Ultimate? Maybe, ultimate. Maybe Ultimate. Yeah, I think yeah. it was Ultimate. Because I was like. War Green. Green, uh, well, not War Green, I was Metal Green, I'm like, pff, done. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing about those, though, is you could actually connect them up and fight each other. Yes. That was that the was coolest the thing, thing oh, as yeah, a kid, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Oh, they, you had a Pikachu one? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want oh, that Pikachu, Pikachu one, because it had color screen, color Did LCD it? screen, and everything. What? Yeah, no, I never even knew it. It was that. awesome. Wow. It was awesome. Um, yeah. Okay, so coming up, No Man's Sky has finally gotten a release date. It is cleared for June 20. First, mm. yes. yes. Come June twenty first, huh? I said pre-orders are available now. I yes, know, I pre-ordered that. Shit. Oh my god! <laughs> Come June twenty first, you will be able to explore the infinite, infinite, almost infinite galaxy. It's a lot of numbers. It's a number so big, you won't care anymore. I don't care already. <laughs> That's not, I, I am interested in the game. Mm. But I don't care how many worlds. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. No. It's exploring. There's a lot. Endless space? Hell yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I got to get my mass fix fixed somehow. Damn it. Hey, yeah. hey. That brings a tear to my butt. How you think after? Wait, hold up. Tear to your butt? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I think you need to call the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or he got the anal slippage going. Oh, <laughs> Those are tears. <laughs> yeah, sure ain't. There's a stain coming. <laughs> need some stop leak. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> um, oh, no. Front Revolution. What's up, Nose Dip? Just in case you guys don't know about this game, guys, uh, um, No Man's Sky is a uh, universe space exploration game where all the planets, uh, all the plants, animals, everything is uh, procedurally generated. Yep. From an algorithm. Um, so that means no artist has gone in to place any of that stuff. The computer just decides where all that stuff is. So that gave them the ability to make millions and millions is it in the billions of planets or it's just millions yeah. uh that's debatable <laughs> I, I got i got to look at the numbers again, but i know it is a lot of planets and it is a huge world and the chances of you it is Ooh, like it is universe, somewhat actually. Yeah, it is somewhat online but the chances of you finding your friends are very low <laughs> yes, yes. i know there was a thing um is it it was supposed to be a thing where they were supposedly uh continually generating some Mm-hmm. At a certain point, yeah. So is that still the case for the game? Because in that, uh, game, I so. if that is the I case, then it should be able to be eventually just like not have a definite number. Yeah. Well, that's the thing; they have a definite number. What happened was the algorithm, like basically, so the algorithm cap, it capped out. Yeah, like okay. well, it, the algorithm went through and it created all the worlds it was going to create, right? But there are so many of them that actually created these AI bots, AI ships, or whatnot to go through and take pictures of all the okay. planets that it generated. And that's the thing, like, everybody's going to get the same, like, a procedural generated world. It's just huge, though. Mm. It's just so big. And the other cool thing about this game is, you know, as you encounter planets and an- planets, <laughs> planets, I was about to say, I got plants and planets mixed up. Like, what? <laughs> you go across different plants. As you, as you, <laughs> as you encounter different 
planets, animals, plants, all that stuff. If you're the first one to encounter it, you get to name it. That's great. that could be potentially dangerous for the internet, but also oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I want to see what the internet can do. Every <laughs> planet, everything's God. called penis. I, <laughs> I wonder, can you how? Because I, I was interested in this, I, mm-hmm. I'm not quite sure how much you can interact with the planet as opposed to uh, terraforming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But if there is any of that, how much so? Because then that would lead to a bunch of dick shaped planets. Yeah, like th- there was some a gameplay footage I watched where he was using a certain gun to shoot off actual parts of the environment. So I don't know how deep that goes. Yeah, but it, yeah, so but you, you get what I'm, I'm going for. Like yeah. if you can terraform too much of it, yeah. it'll eventually turn into. You know, like gi- just giant penis rocks yeah. going around. Yeah. And- <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Coming up, also Homefront home Revolution. Revolution. Yeah, Deep really Silver's game. take on the Homefront series. Mm-hmm. Deep Silver has a hand in this, huh? Well, Deep yeah. Silver bought the rights to it after um, what was that studio that had Homefront went down? Uh, uh God. <laughs> <laughs> That goes to show you how much people actually care. Yeah, for that first home front game didn't do well at all. I, I was it was sad because I was like, oh, home front is coming out, Dang. and I was like, yeah, and I was like, oh, I'll come back and get it next week. And then that entire week, I heard nothing. Yeah, <laughs> and that was all. That's almost always a scary sign. Yeah, unless it's something that people are so into. If they're into it, they're still vocal. Yeah, but yeah. when you hear nothing, it's like, oh shit, like, yeah, where's this going? Yeah, yeah. like something must have happened, and they're either extremely bad or extremely bad. Yeah. So, <laughs> So basically, after that first game came out to very little applause, um, Crytek came and they bought that that game and started working on it, completely rebuilding it from the ground up. So uh, a couple of years ago, they showed some gameplay footage and it looks really good. It's an open world game um, based on, you know, rebellion. So you got to go through, take back certain parts of the city, build your your crew or whatnot. Um, it looks like they're coming along pretty well too. I, I would, I would give this a shot. Will there be yeah. any demos or I, it would be in their best interest to release a demo. I think Yeah, well, I feel like you have to win people back Yeah, and that type of thing, especially something that didn't do too well last time. A new company is mm-hmm. touching it and it's like, yeah, and I have to sell it. I'm already on the feet of uh, fence with deep silver. Yeah. Mighty number nine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's coming, age. You gotta have faith. It needs to hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> he said that last year. <laughs> All right? Did you say people were um want their money back? Yeah, people. Yeah. They, oh. It's been a while. It's, it's yeah, it has been. They've delayed that game a couple of times now. Yeah, I times. was like, it's the like third time delayed. <laughs> it was like two times I went into a store actually, and I was like, oh, let me go ahead, because the first time actually, I, I don't even remember what GameStop it is now that I have it pre-ordered, but I have a pre-order at a GameStop. Wow. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to get that. And I came in that day to get it. And I was like, oh, it got pushed back. And I was like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't call me. <laughs> no. I need my Mega Man, but not really Mega Man fix. <laughs> know, Mega guy. Mega guy. Yeah. Mega guy, but I don't own the copyright. So. <laughs> yeah. Game <Damn it>, Capcom. <laughs> oh, also coming to the PS4, finally, Gang Beast. Yes. <laughs> Gang Beast has been kicking around in the PC for a while now. Oh, yeah. Actually, on a 360 as well. And What? 360? Yeah, 360 you and PS4. Wow, I didn't even know that. Yeah, apparently they snuck that in. <laughs> well, Gang, Gang Beast is a um a physics based wrestling game. Yep, is the fastest way I can describe it. We, we have some videos of oh, that. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. I don't. I mean, I don't have them to display, oh. today, but we have them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to throw a Gang Beast. Video. We, we don't. We don't I have mean, it. We got like the image of oh, what we, you expect. To oh, see. we did the let's play for yeah, Gang Beast. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh, I totally forgot about that. I mm-hmm. totally forgot about. It. We got to put that up. Yes. Actually. Yes. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that game is fun. It looks the the physics behave in a goofy fun way. Oh yeah. So if you're playing, it's it's local co-op, local local multiplayer, not co-op, local multiplayer. Believe me, people, you you don't want this to have online. No, <laughs> no. Actually, with this release, it's going to have online what? support. What? What? Yep. Upgrade. Oh, Later oh my this God. year with online support, singer and multiplayer modes, character customization, and VR support. I, oh my God. VR too. Yes. Oh my VR. God. They're polishing the crap out of oh this game. God, I know, right? Okay, so <laughs> I I want to see the hilarious the hilarious scenes that are going to take place. Oh There's yeah, online. It's definitely gonna mm-hmm. get that. Like, um, mm-hmm. I was watching a little bit of some like the sneak peek footage yeah. or whatnot. Well, not really sneak peek. Some people have still the um. I guess you can call it like beta version and whatnot. Yeah. And there's a stage where there's nothing but fans in there. So when the fans turn on, you see some people kind of like slowly getting sucked towards it, and then bodies just spasm, just <laughs> going everywhere, <laughs> knocking each other out, just falling off on the ground. I can't wait for this game. Oh, no, I'm ready. It, I'm it's so more ready. or less play material. I definitely say that. And for those yes. of you who who expect, you already know, no game is gonna have perfect connectivity. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. So this game without connectivity issues is gonna have physics issues. Oh yeah, and it's gonna be. 
it's made to be fun. Oh yeah, and it's funny. It's a goofy game. Mm-hmm. So don't come in with your serious horse. Yeah, it's, 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 about, it's, gonna it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. They're gonna try to get thrown into a subway. Hey, <laughs> all I'm saying is, if it comes in doing a little better than Bro Force. Then uh, Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that so neck code on Bro yeah. Force. They still have not fixed Bro, Bro Force now, you, it was an amazing game. Yeah. In fact, we need to finish playing that game. Yeah, we mm-hmm. do. But yeah. we can't with the, the current uh state. Yeah, that net code. So unless bad. we do couch co-op for it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it for that's the it. Uh, game's radar. <laughs> <laughs> so if those games weren't on your radar, they should be now. Mm-hmm. Keep a lookout for them. Um Next up, we got the weird news segment, guys. Weird news. We're about to get strange in this place. Yep, yep, We're yep. about to make you feel all kinds of awkward. Yep. And okay at the same time. Mm-hmm. Cody. I'm calling Cody to the Cody. table. Cody. We got some weird news for you. Cody. Cody's going to give it to you. Cody going to give it to you. Weird news. Cody. <laughs> give it to you. Wow, <laughs> things got weird. <laughs> no, matter of fact, hold on. We're going to get a lot stranger. Let's, let's spruce this up a bit. Hit him mm. with that background intro. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Mm. Cody gonna give you the weird. Yeah. Cody gonna give you the weird, and when you're done, mm. you're gonna have a really long beard. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have a really long beard. Whoops. It's gonna be so tough, you can't cut it. Can't get enough. <laughs> too much roll game. Too much roll game. It's on fire. Ah, too much propane. <laughs> 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 oh man, so Cody, how you Cody, doing, what's man? happening, man? All right, <laughs> good, good. Are you still kicking butt back in there in that room? Not much. <laughs> <laughs> Did you beat any bosses? No, <laughs> no. So, so Cody, what do we got coming up on Weird News? What, what's the first thing we got going on there? Oh, the first thing is that Blizzard patches masturbation gag app Overwatch. What? what? Masturbation gag? What yeah. is that? I have oh. no idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's my first time hearing about this. Oh, well, really? Yeah. yeah. It actually kind of uh, spawned a little bit of controversy for that. Really? Uh, along with the whole uh, taking the tracer butt poles out. But, All right, uh, so catch me up, Battle Bear. All right, so what was going on during the alpha um, on one of the stages where uh, the character McCree kind of originates from? If you go into a certain ex- uh, section, there's an outhouse over there. Okay. And there's a magazine kind of hanging out at the bottom of it. And I think we actually have an image of it as well. And it's uh, kind of like a pinup of one of the other Overwatch characters um i think it's sim uh simiata or something like that how you say her name uh yeah 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 and um people are like oh this is like super offensive but people on it most of the community saw it as a joke yeah but yeah. you know those who are uh potentially get butt hurt a little too quick <laughs> yeah yeah so i was like oh we don't like that so they went and patched it out and it kind of go along with the, the whole thing with uh the victory pose for tracer no one really liked that it's like oh it's uh, demeaning the women blah 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 blah. Yeah, yeah all that crap so blue just like okay we'll take it out but then they came up with another pose. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. If you really think about it, the costume that Tracer has is kind of like a skin tight, uh, like spandex outfit almost. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's going to show a little bit of butt. Cre- uh, it's going to show some ass. Let's it's it nice. Out. Yeah, it's going to show a little bit of Tracer booty. So, I mean, hey, you win, you lose some. But in this case, Blizzard won on both ends. Yeah. <laughs> it's butt like cracking. I was a little exactly. bit upset. I will. Because that's the thing about people being butt hurt so yeah. much. It's like I understand you can voice your opinion, but it it bothers me when it comes to art. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. what the creator wanted. Well, that's it? their vision. Yeah. yeah. Now you're trying to censor them, and I hate that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't. If it's so gross, you don't want to have anything to do with it. Do what the rest of us do and not have anything to do with it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. However, yeah. like going on this this whole tyrannical type thing like it shouldn't be here because yeah. she has an ass women don't have asses like that bothers me <laughs> because yeah. it's it's just fucking nonsense yeah. and it's yeah. what's stupid about it is that they attack tracer instead of the character on there that's called widowmaker who has a badonka dog yeah and she, uh, widowmaker is like super voluptuous on there like she was pretty much designed to be like hey i'm the super sexy sniper that you know i'll steal your heart pretty much yeah. but for some reason they're like oh no we don't like the whole butt cleaves going on with tracer but if you look at widowmaker her ass is literally sticking out she's like she's pulling the whole kim kardashian thing going on yeah. i'm like like she can hold her she can put her sniper rifle on her ass yeah she yeah, could rest that on her I mean, I mean, coming from an opposite perspective, just to include it, right. I could see, um, like, you know, there, there was a time in video games, it's getting a lot better now, where I was at some point a little offended by the representation of 
you know, black ethnicity in games. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like every time you, we saw ourselves, we were Sad. a gangster. Soft. Yeah. We were, you, <laughs> <laughs> we were just, we had a certain stereotype, right? But that's, that's getting a little better. There was no balance. Yeah. And I, I could see, you know, kind of what they're fighting for in a sense of they want representation for all types of women, not just for their sexual appeal. Yeah. And they and, had that on there. And they've yeah. been, they've been yeah. achieving balance. They've been, it's been getting better and better. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you know, the internet, they always want right. something. Yeah. They're complaining about you know? it. But the other thing that, about that is, uh, like, Widowmaker, you're, I, I mean, anyone that sees her that knows, like, okay, this is obviously something that's sex appeal. Yeah. I feel like, um, that she was, the other character was brought to light mainly because she seems more, Kid like, yeah, she's more charming, you know, really, witty, yeah. and whatnot. And so, because she was so playful, yeah. I guess they're just like, oh, you know, it's not, it's cool for this playful character. I like her. Yeah. And then I guess they might have felt like they were stabbed in the back because her butt was showing a little bit. Yeah, just like, oh, like, how oh. dare you sexualize this cheerful character? And it's like, have you not seen her outfit before? That exactly. <laughs> I mean, you haven't. It would be weird, honestly. I would feel kind of offended if she had the outfit and had a flat ass. Yeah. And it wouldn't be because I wanted to see her ass. It's just like this is weird. Yeah, that probably weirded me out because people have shapes. Yeah, yeah. a flat shape exists, but not in tights. Oh yeah, no. It, it just looks weird. It's and then, yeah, they're there. like, okay, she's really thin. She has a saggy butt. Yeah, that's, it had to be somewhere, and it would have to have like lumps over her. Yeah. Now you can have a character like that. Yeah, but I feel like you messing with the artists themselves and want them to make that character that you envision. Yeah, is a bit much. Well, yeah. I think I think it's um. I think it's a bit of a it's only a big problem because of how big Blizzard is. If this was an indie game, the creative freedom wouldn't have been such an offensive thing to a lot of people. But Blizzard, they make games that touch a wide audience, right? Yeah. And so of course in that huge audience there are gonna be some people that find found something to be offended by. You yeah. know what I mean? Um but yes mm-hmm. that, that when you're making stuff for the masses, your creative freedom um Get, gets challenged, gets yeah. challenged way yeah. easier. I think yeah, so. it was like that with uh, Dragon's Crown. Yes, yeah, yeah. Especially Dragon's Crown. there. Yeah, it's like oh, well, and you know what? I respect like him because he stayed true. Yeah, he's like okay, I like big, I like big butts. And, I like giant boobs. But what about the Japanese? The Japanese game makers, uh, they some they have games especially yeah for, for that type of audience. And yeah. the guys like any game I make is gonna have big titties. Yeah. Well, I mean, what uh, uh, de- the new Dead or Alive volleyball? See, oh, okay, um, that note. I, <laughs> I like that a lot, and I like it as as a fighter. All right, I don't. Yeah. I mean, of course they have girls and like. If you see my character play or whatever character I only pick, it, my outfit varies. I don't necessarily pick an outfit because that's the most skin showing. Right. Yeah, it's like because yeah. I enjoy the game for the type of fighter it is, yeah. which is not too serious. But at the same time, it, it has a system that I enjoy. Yeah. Right. yeah. Now, at the same time, if everyone on there had different shapes. I would still like the game yeah. because I was like the way it fights. Yeah. If we play with nothing but bass characters <laughs> and, and like high, you know, high Ate's, high booze, right. I would still enjoy the game. Yeah. Now, I don't see, I wouldn't be offended, however, because they have nothing but males, all of them muscular in some sort of way yeah. and half dressed and like male swimsuits and like, you know, crazy things like that. As a male, I would not be offended. And, you and know, I I'm all about balance. You know what yeah. I mean? And if you have right. a scant- scantily clad female, have a scantily clad male. Like I don't care. Yeah. I just like the female. Yeah. And, the thing, <laughs> and I, I, I can think I can speak for most guys who are like you. Know, they when you see a thing that you don't want to see, like right. that guy male. Uh, oh, this movie I'm not gonna throw out a name for. It, but blue male genitalia <laughs> comes on screen. <laughs> what do you do? You close your eyes, don't you? You, you avert. I'm shocked a little bit. I go like, whoa, what is this? But at the same time, it doesn't. You don't go write a letter about it. Yeah. You're just like, oh, I can't believe I saw this <laughs> blue penis today. <laughs> Why? And, <laughs> we just kind of deal with it, and it's not. And it's not so much as it is hurts us. It's just right. like we do it. Okay, we all want things being everything. equal. It's yes. only right. And because guys can walk around no shirts, and you know the whole thing with women breastfeed, mm-hmm. yeah. I think that's ridiculous as well. Yeah. Okay, because if a woman breastfeeds, that's natural. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let her do what she wants to do. Even if I don't want to see her wrinkled titties, that she bring out if it's an old woman. <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm, I'm giving like the worst case scenario here. <laughs> Even if it's like really wrinkled and it's sagging, that lady oh needs God. to feed her child. Oh my God. First of all, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna feel any type of particular type of way. I'm like, yeah. you know what? At least her baby's not hungry. Yeah, I'm That's gonna go about your business. Do yes. do what you need to do. Lady. If I'm staring at, obviously I have an issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel the same way with you know the way they've been going about games. Like, okay, if you're staring, then maybe you feel insecure about yourself. Yeah, be having these issues because especially with Blizzard, 
how many lizard characters you seen as males are just like overly compensating for everything else? All of them. Yeah, everything. Of but I don't hear him say, you know what? That guy has too much pecs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he has too much. Yeah. There's pecs for his pecs. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so, you know, blizzard patching, masturbation, that leads into a lot of other things. But at the same time, the balance. We're yeah. fighting for balance here. And I mm-hmm. think, you know, it's, it's going to be a long road, but we're getting there slowly. You know what yep. I mean? Like, people are going to, well, no, the internet will never be completely reasonable but no. it'll get better <laughs> at some point uh cody what what do we got next man bathroom bots can you imagine a time before robot vacuum cleaners mm. Daquan, wake up what is this wake up uh, get on this mic grab that lapel uh, wake your behind <laughs> up oh, wait. no yeah give me that master ball Oh, okay. So we're we're referring to the quant on this one because he happens to be the leader in knowledge for the bathroom bots. What are these things, man? Okay, bathroom bots is our uh, like an automated or uh, well, manual automated um these little machinery that you can mop and sweep up the floor. Interesting. Yeah, All right, we're floors, uh, right? There, there was two models. There's one of them is a. Uh, Diva, uh, the Vita model, which is the larger model, and uh-huh. the smaller models is called, uh, can I, uh, yeah, I don't think it's on there. Yeah, I don't think it's on there, but, just uh, say it's the mini me of it. <laughs> my me. <mini-me. laughs> yeah, okay. there you go. But, uh, the, the small version is supposed to be more precise and accurate than the larger version. Again, the nooks and crannies are dark corners of the bathroom floor or the kitchen floor. Okay. okay. Floor. So, so uh, do so. you, do they have a hatch I assume you can open to empty it out and everything? Yeah. It, I... it, it has, uh, it has a hatch and the funny, uh, the good thing about it is it clean up a hundred, a uh, hundred feet, um, uh, hundred square feet per hour. But how that's, big is your bathroom? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> It just maybe that's the like it's not a match no rate. Is it like um was this developed in America? And I asked this be oh I didn't figure because <laughs> yeah, when, I, when I think about that type of thing, the first thing that comes to mind with it cleaning that much space is bathhouses. Yeah, which yeah, is okay, not yeah. a thing in America really. Yeah. No, nah, so, I forgot about that. Yeah, so I'm like, okay, it must be Something foreign, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I guess I kind of see that in like hospitals and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. And, and like, areas in there. Yeah, if they can, they can definitely make. Actually, that might be a thing at yeah. some point because they do. They've been integrating um robots in hospitals in different manners. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in a few in South Carolina, actually, there's some uh some that are used in the kitchen. Really? Oh, cool. Yes. Oh. Uh, so they, you can actually see them drive around. Now, when I say robots, don't imagine. Like a fuck, a, a robot just like walking down this thing with your food, like you know, actually carrying it. But they're like on wheels, so it's like a, a little little machine. Like some of them carry pallets around um, and things like that. But you put your food in the inside of the machine and close it. It keeps it warm. Yeah. And it'll drive around with the little light around on top of it, let people know that it's coming down. Uh, yeah. And it'll take it to your room. Right. I would I would love to, for one of these robots to uh, have a Twitter. <laughs> and then, like you just you just like get a daily update on its journey every day as it cleans different people's bathrooms, and then you get a Twitter for one that actually cleans a college uh oh my god co yeah. bathroom kind of thing. And so I gotta imagine like every day just updates like contracted athletes foot for the third three hundred fifty seven <laughs> time today. Like <laughs> you won't believe what I find in these bathrooms. You humans are cray cray. <laughs> It's like, uh, what was it? Also, I will say those things are neat, yeah. but just looking at them and how much weight they carry, you don't want to get hit by them. Um, really? They're so that big? They, like I said, oh they can carry pallets. Oh. Yeah, he's talking about the. So, the yeah, so oh, it's okay, like when it. they're driving through, they're a signal and make sounds. That's a lot of things to let you know they're coming. Like, but don't, cha- don't challenge that thing. Don't be like, well, you can't hurt because I'm a human. Because they will run you to fuck over. <laughs> I will <laughs> clean you the fuck up, human. <laughs> <laughs> Move, I got food to deliver. <laughs> so, but, but, you know, there's been some instances where uh, I, I don't know about in this state, but it's been a situation where someone was hit by one Ooh, and it, they got knocked out. Oh, yeah. because, you know, it wasn't like oh, it hit them and they flew across the roof or anything, but it you know it hurt a little bit. Yeah, I yeah. Um, just an add on to it, the mm-hmm. bigger version mm-hmm. is ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents, mm-hmm. and the smaller version, which is still at my job, 
Target. <laughs> He's plugging sure. Target. Target. Are we sponsored by Target? No, we're not. Yeah. not. Stop we him. <laughs> Get your back by today. <laughs> I also forgot to mention that today. We just have uh, all these all Mac hand dryers and uh, all Mac toilets at the stores and airports and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm, yeah. Oh, Wait, hold on, Cody. So are you saying one day they're going to join forces and do away with us? I don't know. <laughs> you, you're, trying, you're, you're, you're saying a hand dryer is going to snuff my life out? I'm saying, he's saying that you're going to stick your hand under there one day and that thing is going to go from freaking like 40 degrees gonna burn my head. straight up a thousand <laughs> and just melt your hands right I'm not going to be looking. I'm just going to be like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> no, just <laughs> comes out with it. <laughs> 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 Immediately goes in the shop and just like <laughs> no, somebody else goes to put soap in their hands. <laughs> <laughs> somebody else goes to put soap in their hands and it just keeps going and they slip up and, and die. <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> and that's the way soap kills you. <laughs> I teach you to come around here <laughs> like you own the place. <laughs> you punch press my button more than twice. <laughs> All right, so Cody, what's the next news item? <laughs> the world's first giant robot fight is this June. Yeah, oh, I've been, waiting, yes. for been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. Yes, this has been brewing for a while now. Oh, Tell them more yeah. about it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I was just waiting. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was gonna tell him, but I was gonna give you guys the privilege of telling oh, okay. about this real life okay. Gundam fight. Well, I, I don't know if anybody who was on my uh, my Facebook didn't know I posted a yep. decent amount of information mm-hmm. about the. Uh, I don't know, I don't remember how to pronounce it correctly, but it's a karate. The karate, the karate. Yes. Yeah. And I was like, because initially someone showed it to me. Mm-hmm. And I was like, he was like, this is my new car. He just showed me that. I was like, right. <gasps> I want one. <laughs> and then, uh, you, know, you know, generally they have, you know, in Japan or mm-hmm. just Asian culture, it's a whole thing about mechs. Yeah. About just, you know, because they're honestly, they're nice. I like them. Yeah. So they have this uh, this vehicle called the Kratos. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I don't know if you have a picture for it, but I, I'm sure we have a link somewhere. Okay. And you, it's like a car. It has, it looks like a mech, kind of like the, uh, I don't want to say anybody who's familiar with the anime like Pat Labor or something like that, but it's something a little more downtone. It's more like uh, something that would be reminiscent of uh, Robo... Uh, what is it? Kind of like... Uh, uh, Robo Wars? Mech Warriors. I mean, yeah, more something... Battlebots? Battlebots would be something. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Huh. yeah, it's kind of, you know... It, 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 it's on treads. Okay. You know, okay. So it has that type of feel to it. Okay. And it could, you know, it can hit 50, I believe, and maybe a little more miles an 50? hour. 50? Yes, miles driving. Wow. So you can actually use it as a car. But, you know, they build little things and neat little add-ons that make it, it has this uh, arm that looks like a rocket launcher. Yeah. It doesn't shoot rockets. It's just like, you know, it, it fires. That we uh, know of. Things. Yeah, that we know yeah. of. Yeah. <laughs> what, what does it shoot, though? Yeah, it shoots uh, from the one thing. It's kind of just there to be there. You can put uh, certain little things to blow out, like a little net. It has yeah. a little net gun. Yeah. The other hand is a chain gun. Uh, it doesn't shoot bullets per se. It shoots BBs. Okay, BBs. but you know, you can, you can fight about <laughs> as we know, as far as BB. we know. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you know, neat little things like that to make it look as if you expect to be a battle mech, but it's not a battle mech. But right. it's neat. It's a neat concept. Yeah. Um, it's expensive, but it's a neat concept. So is it a million? Is it a million? It wasn't a million. How much is it? It was actually affordable. So was it a hundred? It was a few thousand. Oh, okay. well, it was. It didn't break into the millions at all. So it was affordable, but it's like if you buy one, you obviously. Have decent money to throw around. No, yeah, right. like um, Japan being crazy, like Japan is. I, one of the features of this thing this is my favorite thing ever. It's called the smile shot. So when you get into the cockpit, there's a camera that just looks at your face, waiting for a change. Okay. And if you smile, the guns automatically go off and they just keep firing. <laughs> <laughs> now it's so something. Now it's gonna remind me of Rock and Sock and Robot. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 The thing yeah. with um the well. This is America now. Yeah, they made theirs kind of look like a rock and fucking robot, but um, I think they have it to where. Can we get some pictures of those robots? Yeah. Know. Um, I'm trying to remember like how they had their uh, their legs set up. Like when they were first building it, this thing could not have a yeah. decent balance at all. America's looked clunky as hell. Yeah, it really did. Japan's looked all sleek and like, oh, this is tight. And then yeah. America's like, we got what we do. It's like, what the? What the shit is that? <laughs> you build this blindfolded? Yeah, because like <laughs> um, going off of what Jr. was saying. Oh well. Uh, what you were talking about, Ivory? Mm-hmm. Uh, it has like a camera sensor where it can actually like follow, or, like what's ever uh, in its surrounding and whatnot. Yeah. And yeah. if it actually detects a you know a human, it'll stop and it'll you know analyze if you're a friend or foe. 
Okay. What and whatnot. Yeah, dude, it was like hilarious. Was like they were testing it. Where it the is guy so was cool. Kind of like standing up with his hands up, and it was like rotating around the room, and it noticed him. It kind of moved up a little bit, mm-hmm. but it put its guns down. It was like, okay, it's a friend. I don't have to shoot. But if it's a foe, then you know that one R kind of goes up. It kind of revs up. It's like you might want to move. <laughs> yeah, and you get loaded with BBs. Yeah. Like, but guys, guys, guys in the chat, um, guys listening to this radio show. Go to YouTube and type in Karatis instructional video, and they will give you. It's a it's a little small Chinese lady, but she gives you a full walkthrough on how to get into Karatis, all its features, and it's the coolest thing ever. Oh yeah, like it is amazing, guys. I want one, like Jared said. Like it is so <laughs> freaking cool. Even illegal in the United States to run around. Oh, I mean, it's, it's a car. drive on the road, probably, <laughs> but like in your backyard, have at it. Like yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, I think they have. Uh, you can put a license plate on. So you can drive it on the oh. roads. Oh, no. yeah, see why not. you just can't take the uh, weapons. The weapons you have to, I believe, uh, yeah. the BB thing. You can't have that. You man, I can't shoot BBs at other cars while I'm on the road, and they're just jealous because they can't shoot back. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I'll tell you, <laughs> what are you doing, man? I'm smile shotting. I'm smile shotting you. I'm smiling right now. <laughs> can't you? Know? Oh, what it's probably gonna do is make them run, just like dangerous. smash into your car. Oh, what did you say, buddy? It would be dangerous. Yes. It it would be, but it would also it would be. be fun. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see. Okay, come on. Look at that. Those are the robots. That's what you the, call the, it. the one on the uh, right, the left is the Karatis, and the one on the right is the American robot. These are the two robots that are going to be fighting um, come June. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, the Karatis is so sexy. Look at I that. Know, and the right? American robot's just like Arnold Schwarzenegger. We're like, <laughs> like, <yeah. laughs> Hey, you know the American one reminds me of uh, the the bot Ripley got in the yeah, fight. Yes, yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, it looks like it's a, it's gonna teal over. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's like, it looks top heavy. I don't know if that's just like it's left or it's right foot, but it looks like it's bigger in the back than it is in the front. <laughs> <laughs> it's got like a well, pressure like side foot going on. Uh, just like a fucked up transformer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then make it all the way through. Yeah. yeah, I mean, but you know, this will be the biggest version of BattleBots we've ever seen. So. Yes, yeah. 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 those of you who remember BattleBots. Yeah, and there's actually going to be people in these things. That is oh, really yeah. awesome. That's the other thing. Hopefully, no one gets murdered. Yeah, it's going. What's that movie with um a Hugh Jackman in it? We're battling the, the robot. Oh, 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 yeah, um, I, uh, uh, Real Steel. oh my God, Real Steel, Real Steel, Real Steel. Oh, no, Real Steel. Real Steel. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that movie got brutal. It did. It was like you like and everybody got fucked up. <laughs> oh man. Oh uh, well, Cody. Thanks for helping us get through the uh, strangeness of this oh, episode. No problem. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, Salad D. We're about fashion. to enter into some geek fashion. Oh, Tell us what to wear, buddy. <laughs> Do that, this one. There you go, Cody. Cody's gonna switch with you. <laughs> oh man so uh Shaq, so what do you what do you think about this so far you 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 going with the your money's on the karate or your money's on the american robot muscle Ooh, so, so far yeah. it's japan japan japan, japan. <laughs> <laughs> silent d what is going on not much not much not much just um playing some gungeon and Oh. Getting real tired of dying. <laughs> Everybody's dying in this game. I told you, man. It's, it's not one of those Just easy ones you think you go to right. Are you guys making Chance, any progress? Well, Chance had Chance was doing good. He he did better than me and Dwayne, and he, he did oh, better. Wow. I think he did better than Cody too. <laughs> Dang! Holy crap, man! All right, all right. Actually, I think him and Cody are on the same level, but one of them is going to break the bar. So. <laughs> <laughs> One of them is just gonna have enough and yeah. just break through. Yes, that's pretty much it. Adrian, should I get that sound effect? <gasps> uh, I, nothing. Oh no! Oh, no! I take the, the volume died on me. Hang oh. on. <laughs> take the vo- oh. Yeah, it, the volume was down because wow. of the music. All right, oh, okay. you wanna go for it again? I, you know, I feel all down now. I think oh. I'm a failure at life. I don't think I'm gonna be. Ah! <laughs> 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 I gave him a quick punch to push it out. <laughs> oh my god! The quick. Why can't we just work together, Battle Bear? We can. can. Just, just take these punches. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you like this pain, don't you? Okay, all right, stop. Y'all nah, nah, you wanted this. You asked for this. You asked for this punishment. How dare you do this? Don't give up the bathroom, buddy. I don't get bathroom, kids. 
Anyway, anyway, anyway. anyway. But, so, Silent right, D, what, what do we got going on in geek fashion? All right, so first thing we're going to look at is the Thanos Infinity Gauntlet mug. What? what? It is. I can I'm, have all that power? Yeah, uh, apparently. While, drink, can, while, you, while you're drinking your cup. While you're drinking your coffee, or yeah. you're gonna be like Kermit the Frog, but yeah. that's none of my business, though. What about that Tito? What about the cheers of my enemies? <laughs> that too. Course, that's pretty much what that mug is made for the cheers of your enemies. <laughs> Only if you have the pinky out there, but how can they see the pinky? <laughs> You gonna throw two up there? <laughs> this ain't SpongeBob, damn it! <laughs> it could be. <laughs> I hope you, I hope you see this. I'm throwing my pink out as hard as I can, enemies. <laughs> oh, he's trying to be fancy with the enemies. He he gonna slaughter by drinking their tears. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah. So what's up with the Thanos mug, man? So yeah, it has emerged from pre-order, and the question they ask is this: mm-hmm. Are you worthy to wield its highly caffeinated power? Mm. I don't think I'm worthy, but I have the money. <laughs> right. You're pretty much worthy for it. Oh, yeah. That's pretty much what that is. Since it pretty much power. Go, it so, pretty much goes for sixteen dollars mm-hmm. on its product page, which is actually coming from Entertainment Earth. Ooh. Okay, well, that's okay. what's coming. That's what it's coming from. EntertainmentEarth.com? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, of course, and of course, you know, it's got to be by Marvel. Yeah. I yeah. mean, of course. <laughs> I mean, you're going to get sued otherwise. Get this exactly. lawsuit. Because <laughs> <laughs> Disney might not be too far behind. Oh, yeah. Ooh, well, <laughs> well, technically, if you look inside of the Thanos glove, you'll see the Disney imprint in there. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Disney, 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 they got ABC, they got ES, they got everybody. Yeah, man, mm-hmm. like, the who, mouse has been busy. Uh, I know. Mickey so, been patenting. There's days. like a meme that has. There's like a. There's like a picture that has Mickey <laughs> on top talking about that's right, kids. It's a world where dreams come true, and then on the bottom is like, we are an empire. <laughs> <laughs> it, it literally, it literally is one like that. True. I'm, oh I'm not God. lying. I'm, I'm it's not true. lying about that. Bro. It's true though. <laughs> All right. All so, right. like Mickey? for for people who aren't familiar with uh, Thanos and Infinity Gauntlet, anybody want to give them a primer? Thanos. Why is this cool? Because Thanos basically by himself is a beast. Mm-hmm. Okay. He is pretty a much beast. anytime. A fight breaks out and Thanos is involved, they get their ass whooped. Okay. Mm-hmm. No, super powerful. They get that ass whooped. Right. Like he's a... in love with death. Death. Yeah. death. death. Yes, as in Lady Death. Okay. Lady, mm-hmm. as in the apparition of death. Hmm. And to it appears mainly as a lady. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. And he's in love with that. Okay. Mm-hmm. And basically, a lot of the things he, he goes through, he does, is just trying to, you know, create death. Trying okay. to get her, her favor. So he's trying to kill a lot of people with a piece, sir? Or everything. Okay. <laughs> and he really, it's, it's kind of his, his, his thing. He, his thirst is strong. Yes. yes. Oh. And oh, he's thirsty he for love. something. <laughs> and uh, he really, Deadpool got it. But anyway, he, uh, that <laughs> he want that. He want that. Oh Dashy, that's a shout out to you. He want that. Pug. I want to die in you. <laughs> oh, 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 wow. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, that is perfect. Oh, my God. I was waiting for it. I want to die in you. We hit that point. <laughs> Where's John Madden explaining that? Oh my god. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. He keep it up. He's oh going to be knocking on death door next. <laughs> oh, no. yeah. Okay. And, and so that's just Thanos. Oh, Thanos. Okay. By so, so him by himself. Like, why, so why is he seeking these? What's, what's the, what's the, the Infinity, Infinity Gauntlet? Gauntlet? The Infinity Gauntlet is basically this gauntlet that holds the power of the Infinity Gems. Okay. And it's just kind of a conduit. You can each infinity gem by itself has a different power. Okay. okay. I'll let someone else describe each one if they know which what thing each one does. But <laughs> I know I just I just know right. that um vision. Is it vision? Yeah, vision. Vision, yeah. vision has one in his head. Yep. I'm not sure which one that is. I don't know what it does, but vision, um, I think it's life. It's the one of life. Yeah. I think you can so. control life or death. Like what what's what is it? I, think, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm, I'm not well versed in it. Marvel Universe. It's, it's, but, but, yeah, it's basically like, like life and death. It's that whole thing about kind of denying it. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Um and then there's of course reality mm-hmm. and okay. strength. Wasn't the Tesseract one as well? Or was the Tesseract its own thing in the Marvel, the Tesseract, Marvel Cinematic Universe? I think in the Cinematic Universe it was supposed to be one of the Infinity Gems, or at least 
Is it like an offshoot of it? Uh, I don't or know. Something, uh, a piece of it or something or like that? that. It's, yeah, it's, it's only something, a piece so, of it. But like it's so powerful. It's just... Well, that wow. just tells you how okay. much Infinity Gems are. And, and like, also in uh, mm-hmm. Guardians of the Galaxy, they find one as well. Yes. Right. And oh, to really? the collector. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. the, and don't get too that upset. Box. Those yeah. who are like fully into the universe because the movie, the cinematography involving the Infinity Gems, the colors and what they are isn't yeah. the same for the comics. Right. Oh, uh, okay. They so, changed yeah, they, they changed a bit. Okay. And, you know, that, that upset people. Some people. You know how Hollywood be doing. Yeah. 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 Well, with the Doctor Strange, he owns a couple of Infinity Gems as well. Doctor Strange. So, with that new movie coming out, you think they're still going to let him keep some of those Infinity Gems? I'm probably not as no. many because they showed them all in different places already. Uh, okay. yeah. um, but, basically, you have an Infinity Gems, you can basically do whatever you want. In that universe, gods don't matter to you. So you when, are the gods. So yeah, when you exactly. make this cup That's of coffee with this mug, mm-hmm. you are officially the shit. <laughs> you, <laughs> are, you, shit. you have while all. You look at those. Drinking. You have all five. While you are <laughs> drinking. That's not decaffeinated. <laughs> oh no! It's it's not. It's it, it said it was highly caffeinated. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> it said it in exactly. Like, like right there. It's not trying to lie to you. Are you worthy <laughs> of handling its highly caffeinated power? <laughs> <laughs> nope, but I got the money. <laughs> so so what's Which, next? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, what, what happened? No, we're gonna let's go to the next thing. All right. Which we are talking about self. Tying sneakers, power lace sneakers. Oh! Thank you. <laughs> what are those? Hit it again. Hit it again. What are those? Yes. <laughs> that is my shit. That is my shit. Thank you, brother, for making that. Thank you, because that is it's, it's always going to be a classic. So where is it? Where, where are these self lace, self powered lace lacing shoes coming from? What what is this? They are coming from the company we all know as Nike. What? Nike has <laughs> coming from Fashionably Geek. Okay. Um, Nike has unveiled their first commercial sneaker mm-hmm. with power laces. Okay. And you may recall that Michael J. Fox was gifted with a pair of Nike mags mm-hmm. with power laces. And what movie? From Back to the Future. Oh, Day. that yeah. thing. <laughs> And as promised, Nike has begun the process of incorporating this this technology into mass production. And it's something it's something called Nike Hyper Adapt 1.0. And what it says is, and here's what they say about it: functional simplicity reduces a typical athlete concern distraction. When you step in your heel, mm-hmm. When you step in, your heel will hit a sensor and the system will automatically tighten, explains Tiffany Beers, who is the senior editor of Nike Inc. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the project's technical lead. All right. Uh, then there's two buttons on the side to tighten and loosen. You can just adjust it until it's perfect. Basically, what I think about it is, is that that's a hazard waiting to happen plus more laziness. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> already saved, like, I'm waiting for, I am waiting for some shit to just burst up in flames. Oh, that, like, <laughs> that, it's like if that button gets damaged and it just keeps tightening, you <laughs> don't get that shoe off unless you surgically remove that shit. You <laughs> for real. Not to, not to, it'll cut off your blood circulation. It'll cut off your circulation. It'll cut off everything. Wait, what, if, what, if, what, if, what if people... Safety... Well, you, if you think safety. about it, they put like some know. type of safety lock feature on it. It's going to mm-hmm. boost the price. Well, how much is it anyway? That's what I'm trying to find but out. It's gonna, really the, say future, that. the future's going to be awesome. Somebody's going to find a way to hack self lace Oh my god. And <laughs> just tighten the shit. Yeah. And then people are like, ah, 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 And all of a sudden they, their toes explode. Just going, oh god. <laughs> oh, god. Oh, god. Oh, god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, here, okay. Well, to ask the well, to answer the question about how much it would cost, mm-hmm. not sure. There is no price on it whatsoever. Dang. But they do have a video of it uh, okay. of how the shoes will work. Mm-hmm. At least I. At least that's what I think. If I remember looking at the video correctly, okay. yeah. So it's going to be similar to the the Marty McFly shoes. How um, mm. where, yeah, press down them, then it'll lace for you know a certain point. I then guess. you have to press the other button yeah. in order to tighten. I mean, it. It, I'm more worried about them not working. For yeah, real, yeah. For when sure. they stop working, you're screwed. Yeah. You know what I mean? But basically, they're uh, like the Marty. They stop working altogether, or they just work against you. Stop yeah. working altogether. Yeah. <laughs> or like, work against you. <laughs> so they're like the Marty McFly version, but they're low tops. Yeah, and they've, they've built the technology in so that when you put your feet in, they're automatically tied up, tightened up to a certain point. And there's a button on either side. One button just makes them a little tired and one button loosens it. Mm-hmm. Um, and they but, said they come out later this year. Yeah, That's pretty much know. later in two, that, later this year in 2016. It says towards the end of 2016. So, I believe. So, so, oh, actually, here's Christmas gift. 
Uh-huh. Anyway. Actually, here's what it says at the bottom. Nike has said that they'll be producing a replica Back to the Future variant to be sold exclusively at an auction to benefit oh. the Michael J. Fox Foundation. Uh, Meanwhile, uh, okay. the Hyper Adapt sneakers are avail- are expected to become available in three colors okay. exclusively to Nike Plus members toward the end of 2016. Well, how do you become a Nike Plus member? I didn't know that existed. Account. I don't know. You <laughs> created <laughs> already that. Remember that jacket? Uh, like it was, it was either middle school or high school. People sign in, go into their Nike Plus account, try to create their own custom Nike shoe. Yeah, yeah put mm-hmm. their own little cover or whatnot into it. Yeah, that's all it is. Create an account, and I hope you're ready to kick out some ones. So to get that special treatment, how much would one have to stump in his or her Air Force One? Shit. I Okay. Oh, I guess it's probably gonna be like in a thousand. A thousand. I don't know. It's like when they released the Martin McFly. I think it was like probably four, maybe five hundred dollars. I'm just well, like when they first officially released it. Then they came out with a different version. I think it was like three hundred. Hmm. Well, I'm just exaggerating, guessing, so don't take my word for it. Okay. Anyway, this this article is was um made by Ben Padden, P A D D O N. Just want to mention him cuz he's the one. Shout out to Ben. Shout, Shout out, out to some cre- credit to you, Uncle Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore the uncle part. I don't know where you get that from. I'm saying that messed up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just I don't know how far. I'm talking about a dead guy. Really? <laughs> wow. You went with the right part. Hey, fictional right dead guy at that. <laughs> wow. That is fucked up. Well, let's let's hey, move on to the next uh, segment here. We got some gamer food coming. Oh, yes. Gamer food. What do you got for us, Alan D? Let's Come see. On. First of all, we gonna start off with, let's see. Hmm. You got some pizza? Sushi burritos. Basically, Japan and Hispanic culture mixed together. Mm. Jap- Sounds Ooh. delicious. Japanic. Mm. Okay. Japanic. Japanic. <laughs> yeah, I got that. I got that idea from when um, Monique was doing the skit with um, Jerry Springer. I forgot where it was. It's a YouTube video Japan. on there. Her her stage Japan. name. Her stage Japan. name <laughs> Leticia, Japan. Leticia Rodriguez. That's what, <laughs> <laughs> I have to find that YouTube video, but that's where I got the word Japanic from. All right. So so what's <laughs> Japan, Mexico giving us? <laughs> what kind of food are we getting from that? Oh my goodness. That I realm. Have, Japanican? Japanic. <laughs> Japanic. Wow. Oh, man. I don't know, dude. Looking at this screen, that, that makes me want to see. I'm going to have to get a burrito. What, go what is that? Oh, well, they, yeah, they actually have a video. What, they actually what? have a video, a, a bit of a news um, a bit of a news clip on here. Be careful. It might play automatically. Yeah. That's what <laughs> I do. So, wait, so, so what are we looking at, Silent D? What is this? So what, are, so what we're looking at is, well, pretty much, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Sushi. What's the box off? Nobody. Those are beans. Are you throwing so, those, those are beans, guys? Who want to know what the black? I read a little bit into Wait, it. What did they before say? he threw it up there. Are you are you guys afraid to admit? No, 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 What no. is right before your eyes? No. What they created? Mm. Mm. No. no. Say I'm the name afraid. out loud. No. Like I said, I, I dived into it a little bit just to see what it was because I was kind of curious. I'm like, so so I see some seaweed in there. So what, so what it is they do it how they do like regular sushi? You know, they okay. have the rice, mm-hmm. the seaweed, and whatnot. Uh-huh. But the twisted instead of it being like you know uncooked fish or whatnot, yeah. they have a, a spicy tuna mixture that they came spicy up with. Spicy tuna. Yeah, that they threw in there. Um, is it thing? Fancy tuna. Let me ask that question. What's the um uh pico de gallo? Yeah, pico de gallo. Yeah, 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 pico de gallo. What is pico de gallo? There. It's the thing that's basically like sliced tomatoes. Uh, what is it? Peppers, uh, jalapenos. Uh, yeah, sliced jalapenos and uh, what is the other part? Onions. Mm-hmm. And it's sometimes it's seasoned, but you um you went to Mo's before. Yeah. And, and, uh, <laughs> Welcome to Mo's. What is that other Ooh. green thing uh, that's in it? Cilantro? Yeah, cilantro. Yeah, cilantro. Okay. And so it's like sliced up mints and it looks just like you mainly kind of see the tomatoes because, you know, that's mm-hmm. the biggest part normally. Yeah. And that's just what Pico de Gallo is. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. So this is a sushi burrito. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. <laughs> so they're <laughs> using <laughs> things that go in regular sushi, mm-hmm. but they're exactly. just putting in a burrito form. Mm-hmm. Yep. They roll, I want one. They roll I'm sold. Also, they had beans, because I never had sushi or never seen sushi that had beans. No, me neither. Yeah. So it's definitely a concoction of both. Okay. Yeah. Or maybe it's just really big at, uh, you know, um, what do they call it? The fish eggs. Yeah. Oh, roll. 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 It's a really big roll. roll. <laughs> oh, I was going to be like, uh, what is the other term for it? Cal- not calamari. What the hell am I talking about? Oh, um... <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I, I was gonna say, I was like, no, that's snail though. What? Yeah, what's, uh, what's caviar? No, caviar. Yeah, caviar. Caviar. Yes. Caviar. Yes. Yes. All right. So uh, besides the sushi burritos, because I where can I get one? Can I get some of that in South Carolina? I, unfortunately, no. It's only available in so. New York. Oh. <laughs> but no, hold on. It's at the moment. It's only available in New York, but there is talks of bringing it across the world. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. Talk so. Yeah. I guess talk, talk is cheap. But, you know, <laughs> maybe my burrito. <laughs> um, we need to tell. We should talk about what the name of the place is. I believe it's called a uh, Soto Roll. If I'm Soto not mistaken. Roll. Yeah. yeah. How you spell that? S O T A R O L. And the S and the R, they're both capitalized. Mm -hmm. And their hours are 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Saturday, which I... In New York? Yeah, yeah, I believe uh, so in New York. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. This is in time, guys. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we can still make it. Where's Nimbus? <laughs> <laughs> Who's got the teleporter? <laughs> <laughs> teleport. Hold on, I ain't buying Nimbus in that windy weather. <laughs> <laughs> Man, so... So... I guess every region has their their awesome food, right? Because mm -hmm. we have the stuffed wings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> so weird. Too, fat, too fat to fly. Too yeah. fat By the way, too fat yeah. to fly. Uh, we just threw that out there. How about you, know, you guys show up somewhere nearby? Some mm -hmm. free wings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Free wings. Perhaps a little bit of free macaroni filled wings. Actually, I just, <laughs> just kind of want to actually come into contact with them because it's rare that I actually find them. I think I only came across them once. Really? It's oh, that? Wow. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's like they came by for a midnight release near Best Buy. And oh. they're there at that time. Okay. But I know previously they were doing um, their show. Yeah. And now they're opening a restaurant. I'm not sure where. Uh, and I also talked to one of the parents of the, of the individuals who uh, own Too Fat to Fly. Really? So yeah, yeah I talked to her because she kept running the shirt. And I was like, hey. She was like, hey. And then she caught me up on a lot of the information that, you know, about what was going on with them. Yeah. Okay. And I was like, I need your son's food like today. <laughs> and she was like, oh, they want me back into a certain amount of time because they're all, they're, you know, they're busy now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And did you properly interrogate her? I did. Where are they? <laughs> Where are your sons? I don't know. They didn't move out so much. Swear to me. Where are the wings? <laughs> Tell me. I okay. Calm it down, bro. It's just wings. You don't get so wings. There's no such thing as just wings. For real. Never. Never. <laughs> Don't be giving me no dads there looking like the never, weekend over there. Never. never, never. <laughs> I get it. Oh, I remember too fat to fly. <laughs> what? Oh, you sure I about that? Just <laughs> <drink it. laughs> Give me wings and call me Master Bruce. That's how I call you. Um, uh, okay, well, anyway. um, we've, we've given you some clothes to consider, some some powerful, universally powerful mugs. We've given you some uh, Japan and Mexican Japan uh, cuisine and dishes. There's one thing we have there's given one from the... There's one more present? Yes. What is this? A also a part of the food segment. Okay. Um, Y'all remember the shit emoji? It's a little something called poop. Peas. Poop peas. Yes, poop peas. Basically, um, pull a picture up on that right now. I saw it and I was like, I don't want to even look at <laughs> yeah, that. Exactly. That's why I got like, why they do people even make that? Like, a I'm, poop? Gonna, I'm gonna bring it up for you guys. That's food I, that looks like poop sounds delicious. Uh, yeah, okay. With the smiley <laughs> face, so it smiles back at you while you consume pieces. Yeah, hey, I like that. All right, so, so anyway, so what is it made, made out of? of? I guess the real peeps, question would be. Peeps. Well, I pretty think. much, it's like, well, it's a little. Well, the main ingredient is um, marsh. Is a, little, a bit of uh, brown sugar and I think marshmallows they have with it. How can you go wrong with that? Oh, they're so cute. It's so nasty. Hey, <laughs> Why would anybody want to eat that? I think so want with... from Digimon. They're so innocent. Damn. Now, so you say that there is Why a poop Digimon. Yes, yes. yes. I, 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 hey, I know what you're talking poop. about. Mm -hmm. Poopmon. I kept getting that, him that on the though. first Digimon game and though. getting pissed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so cute, man. I want to eat one of these guys. Yeah, yeah just they the hair scream. They are, they are <laughs> shit shaped marshmallows, and there is a step by step guide by, well, how do you say this name? C E T C E T T A. C E T T A. I don't want to say Cita. Kata? I don't Kata, know. Kata, Cita, however you say it. <laughs> anyway, well, look it up. Poop Peeps, Kata. If you want to make yourself some delicious poop, delicious just go to Google, shit. find your destiny. Get your poop ready. Get your poop ready. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, right. well, we, we got to move on to the next segment. Time is running short. Thank you so much, Silent D. No problem. Later, y'all. Later. <laughs> All right, so uh, next get seg- some poop. Oh, <laughs> get some God. poop. I... Go make yourself some cinnamon marshmallow shit. And make sure you get some milk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we, we're coming up on some of our last segments here. We got some rumors. Rumors, rumors, rumors of rumors of rumors of rumors. Mm. They may be true, they may not be, you know, but just have some faith and you'll have some fun. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, man. Um, first Wait. up in the first up in the, uh, anything going on in the game room? Oh, yes, oh, yeah. oh my god, Ooh. death. Oh! How do we how do we go back and somebody dies? I think we distracted them. I think that's what happened. They were doing great and then they were like, oh, they're calling us. <laughs> oh man. Because I saw what was going on. I was like, oh snap, we need to get back in there. <laughs> well, you know what? Since we're almost done with the show, I think we should actually go around to each one of them and get their take on the game and their review. Oh yeah, definitely. Hit yeah. it. Hit it. So, guys in the game room, one one at a time. Um, I want you guys to tell me what you like. One thing you liked about the game, one thing you hated about the game, and what would you score it out of a zero to five? Okay. Um, first of all, this game is it's something else, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is one of the first games I've ever played where if you die, you, you die. Yep, you lose everything. <laughs> like. It don't matter how far you get. It don't matter who you kill. It don't matter what you get. If you're dead, you're dead. You start back out at the beginning. That's insane. That's <laughs> road life. <laughs> yeah, that's I like road it. life. <laughs> but um, I, I'm not going to lie. I'll rate this game pretty high, man. I, I, this is like a, a high eight for me. Mm. Whoa. Uh, that's a zero and a five. He gets it. Wow. He's like, hey. That's going above and beyond the call of duty. <laughs> so, a, a, lot of, a lot of guns, you know. Um, nine out of ten IGN. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> IG had given it a 9 out of 10 in there Okay oh, man. We, we, we rebuke that we, we rebuke that We don't have money to be sued <laughs> It's okay G. I got an infinity gauntlet <laughs> Let him come <laughs> And if that runs out of power I got the poop peeps <laughs> They can have some of this oh, Alright next person in the game room Uh, I like all the char- I like the characters they have for Dwayne the we can't see you but you don't need to see me. We can't see you. You don't need to see. You can't see me. You're not John Cena. <laughs> Are you John? Sorry, let me stop. <laughs> let me stop for he come out of nowhere. Uh, and now I'll mess with. They go to head. There you go. Oh, camera lens broke. Are you serious? Message. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, we can see you just fine, buddy. Okay. Uh, character character wise. I enjoy all the classes. I really love the hunter, especially yeah, her crossbow. Oh yeah, not the corgi, huh? Not the corgi. I was wondering uh, what the thing was. I, love the I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's this game's all right to me. It's all right. Uh, really difficult. Uh, Sniper King. <laughs> yeah, this game has nothing to do with Sniper King. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like the shooter or Destiny. So, uh, so what would you score it? Zero to five. I give it a three. Okay. okay. Three's respectable. Mm. It's above average, man. All right. Just tired of dying. So we, <laughs> we got to get killed with bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so has no one like, like added a, another controller to do the multiplayer for it? Uh, haven't tried that yet. Wow. And also, here's one other bullshit thing. I, I found one in the chest. I was like, yo, I'm about to find something really good. Boom. I blew up. I'm done with the game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> PlayStation record that. <laughs> Mimic. Oh yeah, definitely. Dang. Yeah. Oh, Cody, grab grab the mic, man. Grab the mic. Uh, in the uh, uh, in, in the game room. room. All right. So give give next us next up next up. Give us give us one thing you liked about it, Cody, and one thing you hated about it. And what would you score it from zero to five, buddy? <laughs> Mike fumbling at his well, finest. <laughs> I actually right. like the characters and. Uh, uh, everything. But the one thing I don't like is the difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody dying so much. I know, right? Mm-hmm. So, what would you yeah. score it out of a zero to a five, Cody? I would rate a four out of five. Okay. Oh, okay, right, man. Nice. So, despite the difficulty, it's a good game. Yes. All right. Hey. All right. Is that everybody in the game room? We got some more people. We got Silent D in there. Hi. Silent D. Oh, hand off Silent D, Cody. Thank you. Thank you, man. Yes, it is I, Silent D again. 
<laughs> so um <laughs> Here's my, take on, here's my take on this game. Okay. I really I really do like this game a lot. I have so much fun just going around and going and trying to kill all these damn creatures that they don't kill me first. <laughs> but the difficulty, bro. Yeah. That difficulty. Uh huh. Especially when you just die right there. You gotta start all over again. Yeah. That's that one thing I don't like. The salt is real. That's that shit he don't like. <laughs> it's, it's, but my my favorite, also my favorite character is the sister, the hunter, the hunter. with the corgi. You know I gotta go for her. the corgi, <laughs> especially with the crossbow. Nice. When nice. you use that crossbow, it just murders everything. I, I'm seeing. I'm watching it drag people it. right now. Yeah. <laughs> so my score out of five would be a four point eight. Wow. Out hey, of that's five. the closest we got. Jeez. So we got we got a four point eight out of five. We got a four out of five. We got a three out of five, and, and then we got eight. that eight out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> no, eight out of ten. Nine out of ten. IGN. Make sure, no, 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 no. <laughs> sure you said that it's from IGN. Okay, <laughs> no, we ain't giving that to IGN. It's our review. <laughs> well, thank you so much, everybody in the game room. Hope you enjoyed the game. We'll have something else to uh, murder you and make you go to the oppressive state next week. <laughs> <laughs> Let's switch games now, please. <laughs> yeah, you can. Uh, <laughs> Oh man! Oh, All right, so guys, um, good stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, in the rumors here, we're gonna go through these real quick, okay. you know. And since we already discussed so much in this podcast, I'm thinking, you know, we just go go past the next okay. um segment. I'm, I'm and pretty, we, huh? I will pretty much pretty much when they hit the highlights of the main stuff on the rumors, the other the others can be pushed to the side. Yeah, you know? I mean, and then we'll we'll hit you guys with a with a gadget review for this week. Yeah, um, got something real sweet and shitty. <laughs> more shade <laughs> and then that'll be the end of the show guys so um wait, let's let's get into this rumor section here all right um first up nintendo denies wii u production has been canceled it's like that, bitches don't be trying to kill us beforehand yeah <laughs> yeah a, a few other people kind of yeah. like chimed in not well you know nintendo as well say though we didn't have any plans of you know stopping the production of the the wii u and whatnot mm-hmm. but um you know, shout out to the Beast Cast again because that's where I heard the information from. Yeah, that um, they were talking to one of the um, I think it's the lead production um executives there. Yeah. That you know, it was never their intention to do that. The news kind of just kind of got out out of hand. Yeah, where there was like pretty much speculation, like with the uh the the NX controller. Right. You know, right. it's just you know certain people putting that stuff out there, but you know it's not really true. Kind of like uh, just shaking up the uh, what's it called? Uh, what's the saying? Rallying the cages. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it it definitely worked. But they said you know at no time you know were they thinking about you know canceling production because there, there's so much more. Yeah, you know yeah, coming yeah. forward, and they don't really know how well the NX is going to take off. That's so. true. I am still. You know what? I don't even want to talk about that. I want to wait until E3. E3. Oh, yeah. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Okay. Definitely. Right. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't think Nintendo. When I saw this, I didn't think it was truly because it would be a really weird move. Wait, what the hell is going on in the gamer room? What? What's going? It looks like what's somebody happening? found a uh, pretty awesome gun. Whoa! What is that? Cool as hell. Yeah, what that's the one that? cool thing about uh the Gungeon. Like some of the different weapons that you have on there have like different attributes. That is insane. Is it. that a water gun or a laser? Water gun. It's a water gun. Water gun. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> I was telling uh Jr. earlier before we started the show that there's a gun on there called the the Moon Seeker. And it pretty much shoots a, a continuous long uh, beam of light, and it will pretty much bounce off of anything that you shoot off of it. That's so cool. I was fighting uh, one of the, uh, the bu- as they call it, Bullet Brothers mm-hmm. on there. And the easiest way to take out two enemies is kind of just like angle the beam between them, and you just damage them <laughs> at the same time. But yeah. you dodge game has some good. Actually, they just popped up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what they have to fight. Yeah, they are. Uh, he, oh might, he might be able to take them out, but they're they're tricky. Got that water gun. Oh yeah! Don't forget to use your blanks. What are blanks? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, press, press in R three and L three. Not now, time. though. Don't use it yet. <laughs> he just said water Wait. blanks. Oh my god! <laughs> when, when the when the bullets come in too strong, you hit them and it kind of wipes out everything. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh man! Goodbye. <laughs> Uh, I felt that one. I felt that one. That uh, oh yeah, right we'll, to we'll, the heart. Go ahead and give it to him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. So long and thanks for all the fish. <laughs> Dang. 
All right, next up in the rumors, Tekken 7 may be coming to the PC. Yeah, I haven't really heard anything else about no, that, though. Me neither. That, like, that kind of, like, floated around. I feel, I feel like that was just one of those things. Like, hey, guys, Tekken 7, bye. Yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah. Just kind of remember people. Yeah. Like, hey, this game's still coming up. Yeah. Does Tekken 7 have a huge fighting game following on PC, though? Uh, is, is that more on PlayStation? I think well, it's more on the consoles. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Um, it's Tekken has always been a console game. Yeah. Well, arcade. Yeah, 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 but you know, console. Um, yeah. Translating to so I, I mean, as far as I know, as with the community, I haven't heard a strong anything from PC. No, no, no the main no, thing no. I've seen for Tekken Second is the I think they gave Heihachi a new costume redesign. Yes, and it was oh. like Heihachi has been the same for years, no. and now they changed them up. Maybe they're maybe since you know they're doing that, they're trying to you know do some new things. Yeah. Maybe they'll come out with a new Nina game, Death by Degrees 2. Shut, shut, <laughs> shut, 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 shut. <laughs> At that point, they have a law. <laughs> Death by backflips. <laughs> Death by failure. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Into, uh, the, into the forest. <laughs> I mean, I, I gotta give it, you know, as far as, like, um, fighting games, like, trying out new genres and stuff, uh, gotta give a shout out to uh, Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. Yeah. Yes, that was good yes. co op game, man. I Great love stuff. that game. People are like, ooh. <laughs> like, every time you say something about it, ooh. Oh, you like that oh, game? God. Yeah, oh, it's God. just fun beat him up. Yeah. That's yeah, like saying so really you, 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 you my clay fighter. <laughs> <laughs> Really? <laughs> like, oh, oh, and I bet you just like oh, you just love the other Contras. I'm like, they were all right. Yeah, yeah. not bad. Super like, Contra was amazing. I'm like, oh, 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 my eye commando too. Oh, you're like, oh, you're such a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, so man. next up in news, uh, rumors, um, unreleased Sonic game, uh, Sega Sonic Bros. Found. So Sega Sonic Bros. Uh, was a game supposedly that shouldn't have existed. Yes. Uh, right? Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, but of it too. was it really oh, yeah, similar to Super Gen Smash? Bro. I mean, not Super Smash. Uh, Super Mario yeah, Bros. Well, well, the thing about this is, just, it might not have even been a traditional game in a traditional sense. So what happened was, um, the reason people think in this rumor has more uh truth to it than you know usual is because the guy um there was another Sega game that came with a popcorn maker. Right. Okay. So basically, you know, you put your your kernels in the machine, and you turn this lever on the front, and there was a a screen on the front that showed Sonic running from uh Doctor um Ro- Ro- Robotnik. Doctor, yeah. Doctor right. Robotnik. It wasn't really a game. You were just turning the crank while your popcorn was made, and then once it was done, you got your popcorn, and, and that was it. But it was still counted as a game in Sega's eyes. Right? right. Somebody had one of those machines, and they did a ROM dump, which is basically you're taking whatever information they put on that chip, and you're putting it on the computer digitally, so people can run it in an emulator. Mm-hmm. Right, so that same guy that did that, he's saying that he found this unreleased Sonic game, and so people were like, "Well, he the other thing he did was true. Maybe this unreleased Sonic game r- exists as well." Right. Actually, inside, I was reading the article. Mm-hmm. They actually uh, find um, the more people start looking at it, the more and more it seemed like this shit is legit. Yeah. And they actually, they found found the dude who actually. Claimed that he was working on it, but as the test, uh, as they took it to the location, it failed as the game. What do you mean they took it to the location? I mean, the, the, they took it, got gamers to test out the game. How? Uh, on the system, or is it emulated? Or it didn't, it didn't really gave more information about it. Okay, well, I need to dig more of this. I'm interested. Yeah. I'm, I'm I, interested. If, if Sega if actually saying the game just. Fail as so they say it's like it's, whatever they created kind of just flopped and no one didn't really care about yeah. the team. It's so there is a red, there's a blue, mm-hmm. and red, uh, what appears to be a hedgehog, mm-hmm. and also a yellow one that seems to be hiding. Hmm, a yellow one. Yeah, the yellow one in the is center. That supersonic. No, that's mm-hmm. another Sonic. Maybe that's. I think in the Sonic Bros might be three brothers. Oh, you know what? Back in the day, if um Sega saw Nintendo's success and they tried to create a copy of Mario Bros. That's, with Sonic, that's probably why oh I feel because like God. this is obviously a rip yeah. off, and they're like, "You guys are obviously gonna get sued." And they're like, yeah. they "Obviously, act like this is not happening. Yeah, this is not a thing." Imagine Sonic as a slow platformer. Mm-hmm. Slow already don't want to play it. Yeah. <laughs> Sonic, Sonic game. Yes. That's, I hope this is true. I would maybe, love to see them three try different to types of speed. Maybe one Sonic, you know, the traditional Sonic, the red Sonic could have been like, hey, uh, strength. I just go strength. That would strong fast. 
So maybe Wait, that just it's, it's like kind of a hog speed. that just that just like, stomps into the ground and just like speeds up. Hey guys, <laughs> guys, but wouldn't that just be the werehog? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not mention that. Freaking no. stretchy arms and extendo fingers, asshole. Oh, wow. <laughs> the hate is real. You damn right. So, I, I, guess, I, bitch. So, I, <laughs> so I really do hope this is true. I would love to see Sega try to actually make a Mario clone with Sonic back in the day and try to hide it. Mm-hmm. That'd be awesome. Okay, so the next bit of news or room, uh, in the rumor section is. Um, Microsoft was playing around with the idea of possible digital trade-ins. Yes. Now, now the way this is work, the, the way this will work is, as you guys know, anybody who uses Steam on the PC or anybody who yep. um, just has extra money to spend would have deep discounts on the PlayStation Store, the Xbox through Xbox Store. Um, sometimes you buy games that you never play, mm-hmm. right? So the idea that they were playing around with is, what if you have all these unused games in your library? You could actually give up the rights to those games if you're not going to mm-hmm. play them anyway. And we'll give you ten percent of the price as, as store credit, and you can use it to buy another game. Yeah, better than nothing. Better yeah. than nothing better for than games nothing. that you weren't going to play anyway. I thought or, this was a pretty cool idea. So they actually questioned one of the uh, head uh, heads at Microsoft about it, and he's like, "We're not doing this. We we're just kind of playing around with the idea." That, right? <laughs> like, he was like, "Actually, no." <laughs> <laughs> I think this is actually a pretty pretty cool idea. Yeah, I mean, but around, but like, well, uh, how often is it that they're going to recycle those licenses? Ah, I don't know. Because, I mean, that's some more work, and then if they're only getting 10% back from it. I mean, me personally, if I'm talking about PC games, Mm. if I buy my PC game, I'm keeping my PC game. I don't even care if I don't play it ever. I'm not going to give you that for just 10%. But I I could see somebody, like, you have people that just like to optimize their life. If they're not using something, they want to get rid of it. You know what I mean? They don't want to run around like that. (laughs) See that, man? No, I mean, but it'll still be in your... It's still being in your in the, in in your the library, library, but I mean, yeah. it's not taking the space on your computer. That's true. On the stuff. That's true. That's true. Ten yeah. percent though. What's ten percent of nothing? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't getting much back. So I see that for Steam. A waste of your time is what that is. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Well, we're moving on to our final segment for this show. Gadgets. Uh, every week we're going to try to show. do a gadget review. Gadgets. Um, you know, something that might a gaming peripheral that might help you gamers out. Um, something we want to test so that you won't waste your hard-earned money on it. Technically, we um, already tested it, but... Yeah, we, we tested the crap out of this, actually. Yeah. So, uh, this week, we're reviewing the Nyko uh, keypad for the PS4 controller. Mm-hmm. Now, they, they also make one of these for the Xbox One controllers as well. Um, so, this thing just kind of plugs into the bottom of your PS4 controller, uh, and it's supposed to allow you to have full QWERTY uh, keyboard functionality. And also, it's supposed it has a speaker built into the back, um, so it can make your the speaker on the PlayStation Four controller a little louder. It also um, has a rotating table. <laughs> <laughs> That's the box it comes in um, mm-hmm. on the uh, on the Lazy Susan there. If you could put that close to the camera right there, um, and of course, uh, anybody who's ever played like an MMO on a console, mm. uh, the first thing you really want is a keyboard, right? Because yeah. you're, you're typing in chat uh, to a lot of people, or you typing commands, and mm-hmm. it's it's really cumbersome to do that with a controller. Um, so I was interested in this thing, right? Um, especially when I'm just typing in codes on the PS4 in the store and all that stuff, just to have that. I, I, have, I have one convenient. question for you, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ivory. Yeah. As a person mm-hmm. who has my PlayStation app on my phone, mm-hmm. and I can use that to type, why is this better? Well, okay. So one of the, one of my annoyances with the PlayStation app is um, you can use the PlayStation app, the PlayStation app on your phone as a second screen to use that keyboard to type on PS4, but as soon as you don't use it for a while, my screen shuts off on my phone, and when I turn it on, the app is closed. Okay. So I have to relaunch the app and go through all that again. It was just annoying enough for me to be like, I don't want to do this again. So I saw this, and I was like, this seems, it's going to be there. I can just use it anytime I want to. I'll give it a try. Yeah. You know what I mean? And also, you know, sometimes I use the PlayStation app for other things. You know what I mean? Like, um, so I didn't want to, like... I want to answer this message, gonna... not text to people. I mean, I type in this thing, I'm going to talk to people. Well, uh, yeah, I'm single minded. <laughs> yeah, well, not even that. It's like it, mm. as he was saying, it has a speaker, you know, built into the back of it. Right. But the the sound quality was terrible. It is uh, horrible. Yeah, it's like horrible. with with me playing Final Fantasy 14 a lot. That was the main reason why I had got it. Because mm. like, okay, instead of me trying to, oh, I got to tap the touchpad again to get to the the text editor to start typing into it and whatnot. But you- it felt really clunky and weird. It's like when you go to press into the buttons. It doesn't. It's not like very responsive for it. It's kind of like um. Checks, well, it says a delay in it. It's definitely a delay. Yeah, I'll say there's a delay, and it's okay. like 
you know how you'll type normal like on your phone or not say if you mm-hmm. had like the sidekick or whatever yeah and whatnot and you're typing on it it doesn't really respond to it you have to press the keys in like very slow and the keys are made of like the silicone rubber yeah. so sometimes if your finger gets like stuck up on it it'll stick to that word so while you're typing fast or normal how you normally type and you look up your words are all jumbling it's not like complete sentence or anything like that and uh, uh buddy the way he can definitely vouch for that it was like yo what did you just say i'm like huh i'll just say we had to go over to this area oh wait you can't even make that out it's like i something ray what <laughs> Dwayne, t- tell him about your experience with it because he also used it. Lapel mic. Grab the mic, sir. Gra- grab the mic. I, I, don't drop. Ah, ah, my ear. Come on, that's your page. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He's not sorry. Okay, there yes, you go. I am. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Complete with that. Shit. Especially, with, yeah, with Adrian. Final, with Final Fantasy. You want to type something? It's a huge ass delay. Release Very that terrible. Pokemon. What? Po- what what Pokemon? Huh? How did you get the Pokemon? How'd you get the Pokemon? How'd you get the You're getting this Master Ball. That's what you get. No Master. But yeah. But I recommend not getting that one. But yeah. that, um, other yeah, chat boosts that, uh, what was it? What was it called? It's just called Chat Boost? Yeah, it's Chat Boost. <laughs> yeah, I definitely recommend that one. Yeah. You, you will have no issue with that whatsoever. Do not yeah. get the Nyko Pad. In yeah. my opinion, do not get it whatsoever. No, like I said, very unresponsive. I mean, it looks cool. Yeah, it does. But and whatnot. But other than that, when you're, you, if you know you're like a fast typer and whatnot, it's not going to respond well, especially if you're playing MMOs. And whatnot. Not only that, just with the regular stuff on PlayStation and whatnot, but, you know, it's also available for Xbox as well. But even for them, I wouldn't recommend it. It's, right. it's, it's just terrible. I just connect the keyboard or like a wireless keyboard to your system and use that, or you know, or until I get a chat boost. Yeah, yeah, or yeah, you definitely go for the chat boost. It feels like the QWERTY key from the uh, the Sidekick, or just like you know, like a regular cell phone. You actually mm. hear it click when you're typing in there. So like, um, I'm trying to think of like what would be a good example of it. Well, you know, that that would pretty much was good. Sounds like you're yeah. typing on your cell phone. Yeah, and you hear the clicking sound. Yeah, you, know you, you, you feel the response with yeah. it, and it, it's definitely good on there. Let's not forget, when you're trying to capitalize, you have to freaking click the oh, button. Yeah, that was so and stupid then, on And then once you're done with it, you have to click against it, go back to lowercase and shift it. Oh, my yeah, it, it is. Get, <laughs> no, let me not show Let me not even get started. I'm, well, no, that, that, that's the review for it. We're trying to let, we're it, trying to let you know, viewers. And those who may be still in, in chat or not, you know, or the ghost people are in there. That's, too. All, that's yeah. all I'm saying. It's I'd recommend save your money or, you know, get the uh, the chat booze, which we actually may review uh, in our next show. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So this thing, my personal experience with it is um, the keyboards are way too, the keys are way too squishy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. There is, when you're pressing the keys, they're too close together and they're way too squishy. So when you're pressing them, there is no confirmation. So it's like more like a... Like a gummy type feel? Very, very, gummy. very, very gummy. Very gummy. You don't know exactly how far to press down in order to get the key to work. There's no confirmation. There's no click, nothing. No. So you end up sometimes pressing them lightly or you end up pressing them too far and you're just looking up and like, and there's also lag. So, you know, if you press it that, all of a sudden all the letters come and you're like, this is horrible. Like, this is <laughs> I, the person, I have big fingers. Yeah. So when I go to press a key, since they're also close together and they're very soft keys, I press two at a time sometimes and yeah. I have to go back and I have to erase it. It was yes. just, and also the plastic isn't that high quality. No, no, the thing, thing with it's crap. It oh, always creaks on, and everything. Really? It, it creaks and it it, it shifts actually when you have it in your hand. Yeah, oh, you yeah, yeah when you're actually stuff. trying to attach it to your controller, where it is via PS PS4 or Xbox uh, One, you you have to struggle to try to push that thing in there. Oh it God. feels like if you add too much force to it, it's going to break. Hurt. Yeah. Let me finish. Can I? There you go. Yeah, you can really actually get the texture of it. Yeah. yeah and that and uh, the, the yeah. switches at the bottom, I didn't like. Yeah. For if, like, if you switch it for, it's, I think they had, they it said it's supposed to have around. Bluetooth capability mm-hmm. to yeah, it. I, yeah, I, I saw it, it one time. It barely connects. It feels like it's, it's, it's weird, poorly it? made. I'm just saying. I mean, well, you know, no, yeah. like, trying to shoot two no, no, shots no, at Nyko. No. Nyko make good products. It's just this. That like, was just not good. Yeah. 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 The keyboard is just not good at all. Like, yeah. I'd rather something that clicks. There's yeah. an audible and click, like, and you, I know. If you run if your finger loose. across the. Yeah, that's that's the weird thing about it. Ooh, so that's yeah. why when you go to put it into the bottom it of the like headphone like, jack, it's like, yeah, it feels like it's going to break. Yeah. But if you, like, just run your finger, like, across. The keys there, yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it feels weird. That and it had like the little analog, uh, yeah, I feel right here. Uh, arrow feels- thing on there. The thing is clunky as hell. Uh, yeah. It's like you'll 
press, like try to go up, left, right, or anything like that, but you have to like jam your finger into it, <laughs> yeah. stabbing you in there. It's like go up, and it's like I'm gonna go left. So what it's trying to do is basically just take your blood. Yeah, uh, <laughs> trying to, try to get a little prick. <laughs> trying to make sure you uh, stealing your, your DNA, blood, make some clones yeah. of you. Here we go. So <laughs> I cannot, in good conscience recommend the Nyko keypad for the PS4 at least. I haven't tried it on the 360 yeah, it's, it's the same different. way. It's the same way. But this thing is like 25 to 30 bucks and it is just not worth it. I give this thing a 1 out of 5. I would I give it a 0. It's, yeah. You get no score out of me. <laughs> if, you, if you see this in GameStop or Best Buy, guys, And that's the bad thing, though. GameStop is like promoting it this. like crazy. Oh, with so the big bad. posters and everything. Yeah. So people are going to go for that. Yeah. But yeah, no, don't go for there's, it. There's there's a better option called the chat boost if this is something you're in the market for. Chat boost. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, chat that's what we normally use when we're talking yeah. to you know, people. And on that one has okay. a battery built in, so mm-hmm. it extends the life of your controller as well. Oh that's oh, the, sweet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. The battery I'll life on that, that thing. It's fucking terrible. Oh, yeah. It, <laughs> I totally it says it, it'll last up to I think five to six hours. My mm-hmm. thing copped out in like two hours. <laughs> and I was barely using it. So you're basically using a laptop. Pretty much, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much in a sense, but yeah, no, save your money. I I kind of lucked out when not having to pay that much mm. on there. I think I got okay, it for like fifteen or whatnot. But yeah, no, don't don't buy that thing. Not this is not trash. Terrible. This is trash. Twenty thirty bucks worth of yeah, trash. Chat don't okay. do it, guys. Okay. All right, guys. Well, that was our review segment. Hopefully, it helps people save some money and not make a big mistake. Um, that this has been pretty much the entire episode. Um, we hope you enjoyed it. If you have any news, if you have any questions for us, um, suggestions about the show, um, you know, send those to letters at atomicultra.com. Uh, uh, our ninja, our, our neighborhood ninja has just transitioned our social page up there so you can see our Twitch, our YouTube, our, uh, our Facebook page. You know, you can go to spawningpoint.com. That's our parent website. That's where everything we do across multiple sites. You can find all that stuff in one place. Um, you can go to facebook.com slash um swan point twist miss twist miss yes. <laughs> you can go to you can go to facebook.com also slash game world antics that's a podcast we do you can mm-hmm. see that stuff there youtube atomic ultra um that's the page we'll be putting these these radio shows up on and also there's a spawning point youtube page we'll be putting stuff up open on as well game world antics again for our podcast twitter uh spawning point and also my personal one is exanity and then those are our twitch um Usernames, if you want to uh, watch a scream or whatnot, besides this scream. Um, <laughs> and then uh, credits and shout out. We want to uh, thank Chris and uh, AME for letting us use the studio. Woo! Um, yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Oh, we got to get the hype. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Um, and, uh, yeah, so guys, if you have any questions, any suggestions, uh, you know, just send us a letter, uh, go to our Facebook page, write us a comment, you know, go to Twitch, send me a uh, direct message. Um, we're, we're on the internet. We can be contacted. Witness us. Witness us. Witness. Mediocre. Well, guys, that's it for this episode of Atomic Ultra. Until right. next week. Stay jacked in and uh, try not to hurt yourself. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now that point VR, buddy. Later, guys. <laughs> uh-uh, uh-uh. That's the end of Atomic Ultra. Uh-huh. What? Go home uh-huh. and play your video uh-huh. games. Uh-huh. Don't be lame. You know that they're all the same. No, don't and forget. Before we leave, uh-huh. Battle Royale Open Beta is out right yeah, now. Go we it. Wait, 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 wait. What's, what's the date? What's the date? Uh, uh, oh, next week. I mean, what, what's, what's the date today? What's the date today? The date today is the 29th. It's April 9th. Uh, it's, 9th. Uh, it's April 9th, guys. So uh, the beta is uh, open. It's open till Monday. Sunday? Monday? No, it's open till next week. Next, oh, yeah. dang. Okay, yeah. go play that. Battleborn. 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 Woo! I want to play some Battleborn. It's like oh, a first person oh. MOBA. What? What? I want to kill a lot of things. And then I'll name my pet Toba. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> they don't know they, they're dead yet, but it's over. over. <laughs> and I can kill a lot of things. Sober. <laughs> if I'm drunk, I probably put up on a bird in my trunk. <laughs> and I take a basketball and I put it on the head, call it dunks. Done. <laughs> <laughs>